boy been cheat on Miss. Dang, what's the word? Tap in with your boy. We finna rock out for a little bit. Pop it a little bit, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Y'all know what we on. His squad, stand up. We in the building tonight. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Alabama Hitter, and you are now tuned in to Hit Squad TV. Yeah. I need all the hitters to stand up tonight. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, man. Pretty, pretty pumped up tonight. You know what I'm talking about? Lady V, what's going on? Plus size baddie, what's the word? Maddie Stone, what's going on? Man. Everybody in the bushes, salute to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of kind of riding a little natural high tonight. You know what I'm talking about? My Alabama Crimson Tide did the unthinkable. They made it to the Final Four for the first time ever. For the first time ever, Jack. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. We're going to the big, big dance. You hear me? Yeah. So, um... I'm excited about them boys. I'm definitely excited about them boys. Yeah. 
uh, fantastic outing on tonight. You feel me? Uh, super hype about them dudes, man. You know what I'm talking about? Easy money. What's the word, man? Yeah, man. Don't talk no junk since y'all took down my tigers. I've been waiting on you. You've been waiting on me. All right. Well, I'm here in the flesh. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Roll tide. Yeah, that way. Man, listen. We ain't never been to the final four. Mm-hmm. Never been there. But on tonight. What? Huh? It's dope. Y'all see it? <laughs> hey, y'all see it? Y'all see it? Yes, yes, yes. We in now. Now we rolling it. We we coming up against a steamroller. You know what I'm talking about? Yukon Huskies ain't no joke. I ain't gonna hold you. Them boys ain't no joke. But tonight we gonna celebrate. Yeah, we came through the Carolinas. You know what I'm saying? And we 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 put them clippers on um Narcac. Then we came down to South Cat, took out them Clemson Tigers, man. Yeah. Come on, man. What they know about it? You feel me? Oh, man. Got me feeling some type of way. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, man, I love it. I absolutely love it. Salute to everybody in the chat. Michelle Richmond, what's going on with him? T Ski, hey, man, I feel for you. I feel for you, Brody. You know what I'm saying? Um, what that boy, what that boy Ludacris say in um, Hustle and Flow, everybody got to have a dream, dog. Yeah. See that script thing right there? Yeah. We're going, we going to Zona. We're going to the desert, man. Maybe them, maybe we can catch them huskies dehydrated and, you know what I'm saying, have our way. You know what I'm talking about? No diddy. No diddy. Yeah. That way. Hey, man, appreciate you, T-Ski. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate everybody in the building tonight, man. So, yo, we got a little something to chop it up about, you know. Um, it's kind of crazy. You know, um, Willie D, he popped out tonight and um, basically was talking about the fact that um, he feel like Clive Davis is to blame for all of this. I mean... I get it, but um, at the end of the day, Sean Combs a grown man, Jack. Yeah, Sean Combs a grand, he a, he a grown man. So um, we ain't going that route. We ain't going that route, but we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it, yeah. Big Cypress in the building. Hey, Cype, you want to come up here? Hey, man, come on, man. A dog in the building, man. Hey, I'm going to drop the link for you right quick. Yeah. Sit up here with me while we run a little content. You feel me? Finna run a little content, you know? Kevin Felder, what's the word? Man, salute to everybody in here tonight, man. Feeling good. <laughs> that damn tired and took it to the final four, man. Come on, man. I can't believe it. I'm bewildered. I'm beside myself. You know what I'm talking about? That way. Uh-huh. K2, what's up with it? What's going on, man? We coming to the desert, man. We bring our water to the desert, killer. You hear me? Let's go. <laughs> All right. Check this out, y'all. So, um, we're going to start. We're going to start this thing off with BG. Hey, what's up with the Canadian Waver, man? Shout out to you up in the great white north. You hear me? Uh, so, check this out, man. We'll start with BG. And, and you know what I'm saying, kind of um upset about this whole situation, family. Um they they giving BG a raw deal, fam. They telling BG that um there's a possibility he go back to prison, fam. He done violated. BG done violated. You feel me? His squad in the building. You know it, G Money, checking in. From the cold shot. What's up with it, huh? Hey, man, but y'all, they, they, they trying to put BG back behind them bars, fam. For, um, rapping with ex-felons. Boy, you know, you know that's some plantation. You know that's some plantation-type-ish right there. 
plantation thinking. No, no, you don't come out here and, and get to the bag and put on all this gold and all this ice. No, <laughs> you need to go work at TJ Maxx. You need to go unload some trucks for um Higgly Wiggly Warehouse. You know what I'm saying? How dare you come out here and run up a bag after being incarcerated for 13 years? You feel me? So check this out, man. I want y'all to check this out as we go down through there. Shout out to my dog, Seti Nash. And I know a lot of people don't rock with Seti Nash, but I rock with Seti Nash. He's thorough. You know what I'm saying? But salute to Seti Nash. If y'all ain't never heard of Seti, go check Seti out, man. Um, And tonight, we finna go over this whole situation where State Louisiana don't want BG rapping. No, state of Louisiana won't be G with a goddamn back brace on and a box cutter in his pocket. Boy, I tell you, check this out, y'all. Hit the like button for me. Yeah. Hot Boys rapper BG faces return to prison over alleged probation offense. Christopher Dorsey, 43 years old, accused of performing alongside other rappers without obtaining permission from authorities. Ramon Antonio. Vargas in New Orleans. About two months into a supervised release from federal prison on gun charges, the rapper who scored a hit song with Bling Bling has been charged with violating the terms of his supervision while performing alongside other prominent entertainers without authorities' permission. A federal judge. So check this out, man. Some dude named Antonio Vargas. Ain't that Huggy Bear? Ain't that y'all remember Huggy Bear? Ain't that Huggy Bear? Anyway, um, Judge said he uh, violated because he doing he doing rap songs, you know what I'm saying? And ain't ain't come back and 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 ask us for permission, you know? Damn shame. Judge ordered Christopher Dorsey or BG, who once belonged to Cash Money Records rap supergroup, the High Boys, released on his own recognizance on Wednesday after his arrest on charges records show. Although Dorsey, 43, was let out of custody pending the outcome of the case relatively quickly, his latest legal pearl set off a dialogue in some circles about whether authorities are going overboard and forcing the technicalities of his supervised release when all Dorsey is alleged to have done is try to reestablish himself as an artist. The man... Damn. You hot, you, you tight because he didn't drop a, a song with BG. But hey, I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all. I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all. That damn BG ain't rapped with nothing but felons since he came out. Go down the list. Boosty. Uh, finesse two times. Gucci Mane. You know what I'm talking about? Nothing but them hot boys. Nothing but them boys with them else on their report card. But hey, man. Hate to say it, but they make the best music. And has come home doing his little thing. He ain't bothering nobody. Just trying to get his life back on track. The rap commentator OG Freeze, who spent time incarcerated with Dorsey, said in a particularly notable vehicle, I mean vehicle, video published on Thursday on YouTube. He ain't doing nothing different than no other rapper. In the video, OG Free showed a text message on his phone screen that he said was from Dorsey and read in part, I just got out of jail. The rest of the message accurately summarized the allegations contained in federal court papers that led to Dorsey arrest in Las Vegas, where the New Orleans native now lives. And if y'all don't know OG Freeze is, OG Freeze is an uh, OG that was BG Sally at one time in the feds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Huh. So, um, Freeze was in the car giving an interview, I'm guessing. You know, Freeze got a YouTube too. And, um, said Duga called him and told him he locked up again <laughs> for rapping. Damn. A federal probation officer wrote in those papers that one of the conditions governing Dorsey's supervised release from prison was to obtain prior written approval before entering self-employment. But Dorsey had not done that before performing at a concert in Las Vegas alongside Boosie on February 8th. 
He also had not obtained such permission while living at a halfway house in December. He published the album Choppers and Bricks alongside fellow rapper Gucci Mane. Additionally, those on federal supervised release are generally required to refrain from associating unnecessarily with some people, including if they have prior felony convictions. Authorities took exception to the fact that Lil Boosie and Gucci Mane had prior felony convictions, including respectively for possession with the intent to distribute a controlled dangerous substances as well as possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Dorsey put out a video on YouTube on 16 February titled Really Understand as well as another one called Yellow Tape alongside rapper Kid Kid eight days later on Apple Music court records notice. Dorsey's probation officer described asking the musician about his employment choices as well as telling him that he needed to find other work. According to the officer, Dorsey's response was, I'm a rapper. That is my profession. The like for real, bro. For real. This is the pettiest shit ever, man. Are we gonna are we not gonna keep it a buck? This is the pettiest shit ever, man. They don't know BG for nothing but rapping. You know what I'm saying? Hell, yeah, they went through his raps to um link him with Mooney Porter and 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 Telly Hankton. You know what I'm saying? Wild Telly Hankton. You know what I'm saying? Moon Mooney, y'all know, y'all know the story. But this, this shit crazy. This is absolute, absolutely crazy, fam. The way they handling this, man. You know? And, um... Shit is damn near criminal. For real. Officer applied for a warrant arrest on the 21st of March saying he had violated multiple conditions of his supervised release. U.S. District Judge Susie Morgan of New Orleans where Dorsey had been prosecuted when first in prison, signed off on it later that day, according to records. Dorsey was arrested in Las Vegas and appeared in federal courthouse there on Wednesday after being ordered, released on his own recognizance. He was told to appear in federal court in New Orleans as required while officials deliberate whether or not to revoke his supervised release and reincarcerate him. Subsequent court dates were not immediately available. In an Instagram post, after his arrest, Dorsey said his situation was crazy, but expressed confidence he would come out on top after paying my debt to society. I come home and still ain't free, he wrote. I've been doing everything the right way, and it seems like that ain't enough. Performing as BG or Baby Gangsta, Dorsey formed. We ain't finna get into all of that. But. Yeah. So, basically, they doing the pettiest shit ever. The pettiest shit ever. Salute to my dog, Cypress TV. What's up? What's going doing? on, man? What's going on with you, man? Man, I, I can't call it, bro. <clears throat> How you doing yeah. tonight? I'm, I'm all right, man. You're coming through, man. A little bit out of the weather, but I'm all right. I'm making it. Let's get it, then. <clears throat> shit. Well, you see this shit, man? Yeah, man. I mean, come on, bro. <clears throat> B-E-O, Lil' Kenny, and Stupid Duke. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, feel, man. man. Yeah, man. But I blame you know who I blame. You know, you know what you know who I blame for this shit though? Baby. No, I blame Turf and I blame Turf Gaster William bitch ass. Who's speaking on that man? He convicted family. Uh yeah, niggas work with the gangster you you saw murders and shit. You can't keep speaking on a man, bro. You you know what I'm saying? Like, you really put the spotlight on that man. You already know he out on pay. What you call him speaking on him, man? You put the spotlight on the nigga, bro. Yeah. You don't do no, you don't do no shit like that, bro. You know they watching him. You, you call him speaking on this man that nigga don't like, bro. And you know how them Louisiana laws is, bro. Like, gangster, you can't be doing this shit. Turk, you can't be doing that shit. Pick up the phone and right. call that man. He's a convicted felon, even though y'all felon too. But mm -hmm. pick up the phone, call that man. Bro, on some real shit. They laws worse than us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For real, they laws way worse than now, bro. Bro, they got they still got black dudes and and white outfits. 
um, serve <laughs> their ass in the governor mansion. Yeah. Yeah. That shit you and see that, on um on life, Claude and Ray when they got old. Oh, they got that yeah. shit in full effect now. now yeah, yeah. Spend that, spend that gold or they man, you go to that gold and you ain't coming home. No, not you ain't real. coming home. They just like being the ADX out in mm-hmm. Colorado, man. You ain't coming home. A damn supermax. Hey, so <clears> everybody <throat> in the chat. Easy money. What's up with it, home? Big true that. What's that? <clears throat> what it do, man? Big true. Hero fix. What's up, man? Yeah, but go ahead, site. Yeah, my nigga. That nigga got a good doing there, man. Mm-hmm. You can't be playing like I used to hate going to Louisiana when I be out toward that way because I had lady friend who used to work out toward that way. You know what I'm saying? I hate it being right. under the law so fucked up, bro. I hate Louisiana. Bro. We ain't even <coughs> talk about see murder. The way they did Mac was a goddamn shame and a disgrace. You know what I'm talking about? They held that, the, the way they did the way they did see murder, brother. You can't you can't wish that shit on nobody. No. <laughs> and, 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 and it was and the, the Boosie did the best thing he ever could have did, man. Go to Atlanta or somewhere. Because if he ever go back to Baton Rouge, he going back to jail. And he ain't going to never see daylight again because they want him off the street. Right. Absolutely <clears throat> right. I mean, man, they, you they're can't... not going to let nobody make it, bro. Not in the, not in BR. What, no, what a big, what a, what a big crew. <coughs> nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that. They just like me. They just like me going back to Memphis. I don't be trying to rush this shit, man. Especially when you know you done been into the shit to you. No, man. You stay away. You yeah. stay away from that shit, bro. Yeah, that was the smartest shit Boosie did, bro. Not gonna <laughs> hold you. Yeah, man. Not Nigga gonna wanna... hold you. When... Man, listen, man. We gotta quit feeling like we can just Go back home and everything going to be good. Spend it when you can did shit. You got a reputation. Right. Nah, oh, man. Stay the fuck away from there. Shit. If, if it's meant mm-hmm. for you to go stay the fuck away from there, don't go back. I swear to God. Man, <clears throat> listen. Um, <coughs> What's tomorrow? Tomorrow the 31st? Mm-hmm. Tomorrow is the day. It's the anniversary of the day. That they stretch Nipsey in the parking lot of the marathon store, going back home and posting up, feeling like, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool here. Ain't nobody gonna mess with me here. I'm with my people, homie. Ain't that well? What's that? ATL? Yeah. No, nah, that ain't that ain't the ticket, bro. <clears throat> Long live Nipsey. You know what I'm saying? What? What um, a big truth. What a big uh, big pressure. Big yeah, man. Plus, now he, now you, now you ain't supposed to be around convicted felons, homie. Um, or you are already convicted felons. Right. People well, do, but like, but like, come on, man. I want y'all to go through all the music that y'all listen to. All these niggas, they first day out, giants, and you know what I'm saying, man. Listen, <laughs> B.E.O. Lil Kenny did his first. Video. <laughs> Kenny Money pulled up. Stupid Duke pulled up. And a whole bunch of folk that I ain't never seen before. True, yeah. I probably know who they is. And most no of way. all my, and most of all little niggas, I think maybe outside of Kenny Money, but what well, could Chris you that that for him, but like mm-hmm. yeah, well mostly everybody out there could be confessed. Maybe it's him for Kenny. Maybe maybe it's him for Kenny Money. He's about the only one out there that wouldn't come in the valley. Right. That I know. My boy. My boy Detroit Cam say, hey, everybody, I've been on the prowl trying to see who popping out. Well, <coughs> guess what? Cam, you in the right place. Salute to the D. I'm talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. A plus side bad to say. You know I know. Put it, put it that put it this way. Uh, they want him. They they did that to him. Man, listen. 
they been going in on BG. They mad at BG because BG would not get them Telly, and they would not. He would not get them Mooney Porter. You know well, he put he. Well, this is what he fuck well. <clears throat> they tried to throw crosses at them niggas because y'all know how Louisiana play. I mean, not only Louisiana, but the South play dirty in a way, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And they right. went told, I think they were Walter, Mooney Porter, they were Tilly. One of them, Mooney, I think it was Mooney, because he, he was on that song, uh, Murder to God. What's that? I forgot the mixtape, but he was like, it's nigga get fifty, nigga my nigga Mooney around. Yeah, he said yeah. nigga get fifty with my nigga Mooney around, and they they went yes, told Mooney that they went told Mooney they convicted him off to versus oh, BG BG putting that song which was a lie. Mm-hmm. They already had evidence to convict them anyway. Yeah, y'all do y'all homework <clears throat> on Mooney Porter. That was a bad motherfucker. Yeah. Man, the- Mooney Porter, Tilly Hankton. Yeah, the whole Hankton family, for real. Uh-huh. That's what you call a crime family. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I bad as I was texting while driving. Hey, don't do that. We want you to get home safe. I'm talking about, it. hey, man, it's Saturday. Right. Folk man, folk man <clears throat> you, better, you better get to the house oh, and get, get, through, get through cooking and stuff. You're going to make <laughs> me real. and Grandma Wade put you in the headlock, man. You better cut it out. For real. We need that potato salad. You feel me? Yeah, but, yeah we want the fried chicken, all that good shit. For real, happy <clears throat> Easter, happy early Easter. If you're on, if you're on the East Coast, yeah, happy Easter. So yeah, that way. Man, listen, man. They want they 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 that this grano. This man <clears throat> went and paid his debt back to society. They they ain't do nothing but catch him with a few burners in the in the truck, and they and they made him go do thirteen years for it. Yeah, he I mean, came back shit. home. Go ahead. Yeah, shit happened, man. They just leave that man alone. He out here getting that money. Leave that man alone. I'm oh, some real nigga shit. Man, came back home. <clears throat> got his got his GED or whatever he got. And um, got back to business. He don't hang out. He ain't talking crazy on social media. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> well, his his son but, went to the pen. His, his son went to the pen too. Right when he got out, let's see why. Right, right. So, Salute to him for him. He he mm-hmm. went on. He got caught. He, he got caught with some hammers and shit. But I think he already was like a convicted felon. So I think the feds probably gonna come holler at him most likely. You know, cause he is out there in Louisiana, and we know how they get down. Right, right. So, you know, it, it's just a crazy set, set of circumstances, fam. Yeah, free T-Y, T-Y yeah, free him, <clears throat> for real. Man, <laughs> what you think about WAC 100 coming out and letting everybody know? I'm going to tell you something. We talked about this last night. Finesse, his anger be misguided and misdirected so bad, y'all. The people he need to be coming at, he don't. Um, he talked all of that. He talked all that mess. I woke up that morning, whack one hundred, then you know, dropped some paperwork and basically saying that when Finesse got caught up, what that is, Forest City, Arkansas. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Finesse got caught up for shooting at a female. No, that was Little Rock. Uh, was it was it for City or Little Rock? I can't remember. Oh, let me <clears> see. <throat> I got I got a little something right here. Let me see. No, I was for City. Club Envy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Shout out yeah. to Four City. I ain't been out there in a minute. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, I used to <clears throat> I used to go out there and go visit one of my OGs at the camp out there. Okay. See, when he when he was at the camp out there, the big camp out there, the one that T.I. was at, the big camp out there. Salute to the OG. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. My oh, boy, man. um, my boy, Lil <clears throat> Ricky. Yeah. Lil Ricky. What up, Lil Ricky? Uh, <laughs> what's up, Lil Ricky? Hey, that nigga, that. <laughs> hey, we ain't finna get on him. Uh-huh. But yeah. 
Um, <clears throat> little buddy, mad at a female, and um, basically let one go at him. Yeah, like what type of nigga is you, bro? <clears throat> like for real? Who raised you, fam? Who raised you? Um, but we finna get into it. <laughs> we finna get into it right now. Um, yeah, got into it with old girl. And um, basically, put one through, put one through a back windshield. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh no, I know they closed the Mason. I know they closed Mason, Tennessee. Now, I don't know about that. You know about that site? What? Did they closed so Mason, close Mason, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, they ain't closed Mason down. That shit still ages. It just for they they told you there until they send you out of where you going. <clears throat> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. Man, I be I be loving the way um the real black Barbie be texting. What's it? <laughs> hey, whatever she be saying, you gonna feel it in that text, dog. <clears throat> yeah, with her chocolate, with her chocolate. <laughs> we see you, baby. We see you. And she got and she got nicknames for everybody. Y'all check uh -huh. this out, man. Y'all check this out. Okay. The complainant alleges that on June 25th, 2017, Ricky L. Hampton, a.k.a. Finesse Two Times, was at Club Envy in Forest City, Arkansas. As Hampton, a Memphis rapper, was leaving the club, he began screaming at a person in a car that he believed was blocking his way. As Hampton got into the car, he continued <clears throat> screaming at the person to move out of the way. Hampton became impatient with that person in the other vehicle as he pointed an AK style pistol at that person. As that person drove away, Hampton fired a shot and sh that shattered the rear window and struck the driver <coughs> of another vehicle in the neck. The weapon Hampton used, a Century Arms model, RAS 47. <coughs> 7.62 caliber pistol had been recovered by law enforcement. Hampton was convicted in Tennessee of felony aggravated robbery for which he was sentenced to eight years in prison. Oh man. I know y'all remember that. But I'm just like, bro, a female? You know, oh, dumping them folk car like that, bro. Cause you can't move? <clears throat> Yeah, I know, they, they, I they, know they. If y'all watch this, go ahead, go ahead. <clears throat> go ahead, sorry. Yeah, uh, he, he, he shouldn't have been, he shouldn't have done that. If, if he done it, I don't know. But he was afraid, he was just out off of like a robbery and shit, and had my bag really was going through a situation at the time. Yeah. <clears throat> My thing is, bro, control your anger. You're too emotional. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Uh, and whether he did it or not, I don't know, but <laughs> you, you see that's at night. And this damn show at night right here. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know. I lead up to I lead that up to y'all to um let me know. But I just feel <clears throat> like buddy, you know. His whole rap career is a long <laughs> list of just dumb shit that could have possibly been avoided. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real, bro. This shit is on the line now. You feel me? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's on the line now, man. Good call. But whack one hundred get to spend a bread to get paperwork to shit like this. It, 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 mm -hmm. Your shit on the line. Then you got <clears throat> your brother coming out and loving you one day, but really he exposing you. I'm really throwing you out there and showing you what type of person you is and how you get down. Pretty much <clears throat> corroborating whack story against you. And whack only right. going at you because you over there with Jay Prince, somebody who he hates to death. Well, I mean, if I had the type of stroke that whack got, 
no did it. Um, and a nigga told me in a song that he had a hundred on my head, and I come at it, I come at his ass too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jay <laughs> Prince be damn. Nigga said I got a hundred on whack. Hey, okay, let's play. Let's play. See, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about about misguided anger. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. coming at bloggers, fam. <clears throat> They only doing what they supposed to do. Blog, you know? Keep up with celebrity news. And so, since you want to jump out the window on some of the big <clears throat> ones in the game, uh, DJ Academics, WAC 100, and um, <clears throat> what's my boy name down there in Miami? 1090 Jake. Oh, hey, y'all no. say what y'all want about uh, 1090 Jake. I know. He's a culture vulture. He, <clears throat> he, he, he's, he don't cover no white boys. Hey man, <clears throat> successful in doing what he's doing. That's all I can say. And when you play with these folk, hey man, they gonna hit you where it hurt. <clears throat> they gonna hit you where it hurt. I know y'all seen the video that Jake put out uh, a couple of days ago. Shit. No. Yeah. They gonna they they gonna hit you where it hurt. The <clears throat> pen is mightier than the sword. I know y'all heard that. Yeah, that's what yeah, grandma used to say. Yeah. Pen is mighty <clears throat> sword, fam. So. Here, here was the problem, though. If, you know, if Wack were more respected by his neighborhood, it'd mm -hmm. be a problem. It'd be a problem. Yeah, yeah it, it would, if he had, if he had some, some people on, on the ground that, you know what I'm saying, really had, yeah, they respected him and went trying to run up a check. Yeah, it would be a real problem. Yeah, it'd be a real problem. All across the world, it'd be a problem because mm -hmm. they need to make some calls and make some shit happen. Like, them East Coast niggas are say somebody, man, but the West Coast niggas don't respect him. Nah, period. <clears throat> period. Big True that said, the game industry don't, the game, the industry don't care about snitches anymore. That's only street politics, honestly. Yeah, that's absolutely right, fam. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. We was talking about it the other night. You know, Gunner sat up there and they seen that video. Everybody was calling him a rat. <clears throat> Gunner canceled. Hell, six months later, everybody hollering about QP Ski. Fuck you, me. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Oh, it's catchy. That song grow on you. No, nah, bro. You you listen to Ghana. You's a Ghana fan. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, you know he did. You know, Thugger told him to do that. Not niggas making up excuses for them <laughs> rocking what a man been told. Man, look, Thugger ain't told this man to sit up in the courtroom and just say, "Say why it's the other guy." Uh, yes, you all know why it's the other guy. I'm quite sure. Young dude ain't signed up on them. Right. But to justify how you move. <clears throat> oh, yeah. He telling everybody to mm, go, on, go on, handle your business, go on, do what you got to do. We still going to beat this shit. That man, come on, bro. Nigga folded. And I think Thugger going to beat this shit. Hell, as long as, this, as long as this trial going, he might get off with time served. If we being real about it, oh. he might get off a time served. You know what I'm saying? And if he don't, he ain't going to do no more than five. <clears throat> yeah, so. And, yeah. and really, they really ain't shown no evidence on it. Not none whatsoever. <clears throat> that whole trial been a kangaroo court, bro. I know y'all seen the clip where Buddy said that. <clears throat> <laughs> when they were when they was in there interviewing him, he said, "Um, hey, can I get some water? I'm about to fall asleep. I'm high as hell right now." That's the type of shit that been going on <clears throat> in the Thugger trial, man. Yeah, this is the shit yeah. show. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's so bad they yeah. had to flip it around on old girl just to give 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 it some attention. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy hell. Hey y'all, y'all, y'all give me a um y'all give me a thumbs up if my volume is too low. I just turn my mic up a little bit. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cinematic Ken in the building. What's up with it, Ken? Cinematic Ken, um, a.k.a. Cyber 2.0, man. Cyber 2.0. Yeah, too, too. <laughs> the, the lustier demon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. well, y'all let me know my mic, how my mic sound. <clears throat> man, you sound okay, like Doug Carnegie. Sure. They say you sound like Doug Carnegie, man. I don't know. Doug Carnegie, okay. Here's wishing you love, peace, and so okay. I I I take that. Yeah, but <laughs> hey man, this shit crazy, man. This shit crazy, man. I don't know the how the man is to tell. <clears> yeah, Panetta Panetta had this metro party tonight in Canville. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They Why had the, you- um Playboy Mansion party. <clears throat> yeah, why you let sugar throw matching parties and shit, man? Shit. If they knew like I knew, <laughs> they uh, um <clears throat> cut that shit out. Man, what? j Real, what, what'd it do? Mm-hmm. Cut that shit out, man. We got one of the biggest moguls in the game right now. Fighting for his life behind them damn parties, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, you know, it wasn't because so, no women involved, but uh, <clears throat> we, man, listen. Did he have women? <clears throat> men? How they said when you go into the store, juniors and missies. Oh, he didn't care, fam. He did not care. So, yeah. And that's a perfect segue because we finna talk about um, the legendary Clive Davis. You know, um, a lot of people are saying that um, Clive is the reason that Diddy is like he is. He could be the mastermind behind all of this shit. You know? Uh And um, we always got that one person that cries out and we call him crazy we call him you know what i'm saying the village idiot you know what i'm saying clout chaser yeah, yeah. y'all know them types <clears throat> yeah. well we finna um <laughs> we finna um tap in with jaguar right and um listen to what she had to say <clears throat> and this was a while back this is a while back. Matter of fact, I'm going to share the screen right quick. Mm-hmm. Because he was victimized. This was, oh, when was this? Yada, da, yada, da, yada. Three years ago. That's good enough, ain't it? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we finna get into it, fam. If y'all would, hit the like button for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, share the video if you can. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you're in the bushes and you ain't subscribed, you ain't even got to pop out. Just hit the subscribe button and hit that bell on the side to be notified on each and every time we decide to slide. And if you can, support the channel. Any donation will help. No donation is too little. No donation is too small. Appreciate y'all. Let's get into it. The sex trafficker. And he's using music and entertainment to sex traffic. Now, is this is this just boy? Hey, that shit sounded far fetched as hell three years ago. You hear me? That shit sounded far fetched as hell three years ago, but now, not so much so. Okay, these girls, adults, kids, like I mean, from what I've heard from sources that I would consider reliable, it really doesn't matter. Wow. Um, I don't think sexuality is something that has anything to do with gender at this point, Krishan. I I honestly think he's just an extreme narcissist who loves power. He loves the ability to manipulate and control people. Why? Most likely because he was victimized by his mentor. And I believe that. I believe that did he love to move people around? He loved to 
the thrill of being in control of people and doing whatever he pleases. Yeah. You know, you might not start out that way, but it become addictive after a while. I can believe that. Love to control people. And his mentor was Andre uh, Well. Tell tell us how was he was mentored by Clyde Davis. Oh, oh God. It don't tell me that Andre Harrell got touched by Clive Davis, too. I'm telling you, I don't know what happened between Andre and, and and Clive. What I do know is that Andre got passed over. As we know, oh. Andre did. He did get passed over. <laughs> uh, if y'all know hip hop history, and I was a little bitty boy, you know, so I didn't. I didn't start listening to rap for real to like shit. I don't know, um, but yeah, Andre Harrell was not a factor. He, I know y'all remember the movie Curly uh -huh. Groove. Andre Harrell yeah. was in there. Him and him and another dude. They had a whole little group. Don't even know who they was. Yeah. yeah. Somehow he 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 climbed up the ladder, and then you know the Golden Boy popped out. He he was willing to take it there. Like, wow. how do you go from being the president of Uptown and losing your entire company to your intern? Like, Puff started out as an intern. Yes, he was he throwing parties with Mark Barnes in Washington, D.C. And then he became an intern at Uptown. And he was very, you know, proactive. That's a good way to put it. Proactive. <laughs> Willing to do what it takes, man. Yeah, you start off at an intern, as an intern at Uptown, and you end up running Uptown, not into the ground, but out of business and getting your own company for the free ski. That's, that's kind of suspect. Nobody really batted an eye at it, and nobody really asked any questions, you know, mainstream wise, but I'm pretty sure people knew what it was back then. You got something to add to this side? <clears throat> no, I mean, I mean, we all knew what it was. It's just like it's just out in the open there. Shit, yeah. they just can't hide it now. It's out there. <clears throat> For all the non believers, there it is. Facts. And, and 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 if there's one thing that Sean knows, he knows pop culture. That is true. He knows what's hot. Like, I cannot, I cannot take anything away from where he has been extremely effective. Yes, he knows pop culture. Matter of fact, he probably knows pop culture better than he knows music. Mm. I never felt like he had a lot of talent in music. Is that fair for me to say? I mean, nobody really cares about him rapping. Right. I didn't know why he did that, but then again, why not do it? They're listening. Did it best song to me was the song that he, he was featured on with Mace that hold me down joint. That's the hardest song that he ever did to me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe victory. Yeah. Uh hold me down. <laughs> victory and all about the Benjamins. Outside of that, how you around for 30 plus years? Shit like this. Let's start that. And into all these other like artists that you're putting out, why not be one too and get that extra check? Uh, like but the people are buying you know. your brand, why yeah. not take it all the way? I'm mm -hmm. not hating on him for getting money. Me either. I'm just hating on the way he got it. And I'm hating on the overall effect of what it's done to not only the artist on his label, the artist that got shelved, the artist that got dropped, not, not only that, but what he did to culture. Yeah. <laughs> he took all them artists down through that. And man, I used to love Total. Man, that little that little one chick with the with the uh the little shortcut. Well, all of them had shortcuts, but um she didn't get much. She didn't get much microphone time, but she was the bad one to me. I used to love Total. Shout out to Total, man. Because he made culture like an Andy Warhol painting. And don't get me wrong, Andy Warhol, great artist. Right. But let's keep it a bean. Andy Warhol was pop 
culture. That's what I, if I were to put a label on Puff, I would say that he's the Andy Warhol of hip hop. The Andy Warhol, okay, okay. I hear you, I hear um, you. I don't know nothing about Andy Warhol, just for the record. Don't know a damn thing about Andy Warhol, but okay. He got smart and he listened to all of his advisors, mostly Clive Davis, and he won. Like he was determined to win. Like nobody knew how determined he was to win. Like that whole thing with Father MC, he covered that thing up real fast. What happened with him and Father MC? Let's get into it. <laughs> Cause I don't even know what happened with him and Father MC. Yeah. So um don't worry if I write rhymes, I write chicks. Yeah, that's just yeah. Oh, hate me now is good too. I guess you could say that. There was a party um down at Howard. Hold up, she married to Mike Epps. Come on, Cam, you put me on some game, bro. Let's go. You know, one of the infamous parties, and they had gotten too big, and he didn't have proper security, he didn't have proper permits, and there was a stampede, and Father MC's woman got uh, trampled to death. And now, how, do, um, how does one go about? Damn, I forgot about that. You remember that? Father MC old lady got killed. He did a song about her and everything. But yeah. So Diddy had two incidents like that, Howard Homecoming and, and the, in, the incident at City College with him, and I believe it was Sister Soldier. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when I think he... Damn, that's... Hmm? I, I think he... I think he's been in a, in a, in a bad spot now. <clears throat> oh, he in a hell of a... He in a hell of a fine spot. <laughs> yeah. The hottest of seats. Mm -hmm. so we're going to see how it turn out. But the history don't lie, bro. The history don't lie. And this woman here, Kevin Felder said, he said it earlier. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not believing you all these years. But hey, man, she's been trying to tell us. And we've been calling her crazy. But um, yeah, when you go back, Hindsight is 2020, fam. Covering up something like that. Well, I mean, a, a, apparently you pay people. From what I've been told, he's been paying um, what is it? What's the the not the world star, the other one. The the, the the uh the the, the shade room. Mm. He's been paying the shade room not to post my post. That's what I was told. Ah uh, someone hit me up in the DM and was like, the stop tagging. So they got on my feet and was like, stop tagging the shade room. He's paying them not to post it. Yeah, I can believe that. It's a couple other artists that pay them too, not to. Yep. I'm well, not I mean, them, yeah. and I'm not hating. I'm not hating. If they paying you that money, they paying you that money. But just understand, the second that you jump into somebody's pocket, you stay in a pocket. Um, big pressure. <laughs> when they find Fonsworth Bentley, they probably gonna find the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Fonsworth Bentley is all the way off the grid. And I'm pretty sure it's a good reason for it. He probably know where all the bones are buried, all the skeletons are. Shout out to Fonsworth. Forever. Period. Yeah. Because if you'll take the money once, you'll take the money twice. If you'll take the money twice, you'll take the money three times. You know, and once they get used to getting that money, now you've given the other person all of the control. So what happens when you want to break a story that you really want to break and somebody comes to pay it, but everybody else is going viral and you're missing the boat. Yeah. And, and right now we're talking about the shade room in Diddy. Allegedly Diddy has paid the shade room not to repost Jaguar's post. I can tell you guys, I know for a fact, there's a couple of other artists that paid the shade room to only post positive things. Hey, you, you get your money how you do. Allegedly, some YouTubers are being paid too to only post positive things. That's fine. You get it how you do. I you like to be I am a hustler. I would never tell nobody not to get no money. Right. And I'm going to elaborate on that. I feel like Jaguar Wright, she shot a load. Uh, I believe a lot of the stories that she has been telling throughout the years had merit. But when she told him so, for so long, you know what I'm saying? She she's not like Gene Deal. Gene Deal can reheat some soup a thousand times and make you feel like you're hearing it for the first time. Um, when she didn't got all of her stories out, I felt like 
she started doing extra shit to stay in the algorithm on her um Charleston white shit. You know, when you don't when you don't have um a talent to you know yeah. stay in the algorithm when you're not doing nothing that makes you relevant <clears throat> except right. for talking about somebody, you know what I'm saying? Or 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 sh- not talking about somebody but sharing somebody dirty secrets. Once you run out of secrets, that's it. Ball right. game. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> so it me either. But at the end of the day, you gotta ask yourself what you're living for. Are you living for what you're building for <clears throat> yourself? What you're building for your career, what you're building for your legacy, are you living to be in somebody's pocket? Yeah. Yeah. You can be of the always had a lot of people in his pocket. Yeah. Like I said in my post, he's probably hmm. he, he's probably one of the only people in this industry that has more secrets than me. Are you a bad bitch? Are you a bad or oh, bad bitches communicate using the gift of okay. gab? So that's the end of that. But um I know it was one where she basically said that boy Diddy got on his knees for Clyde Davis. I don't know what that means. Y'all can look into it. But uh, you, um, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all can look into look into that, whatever you will. But she said Diddy got on his knees for Clyde Davis. And, and I believe it. You know, um, when you are gifted a record label after being an intern you know we all looked at it like damn this this man he is a young savant russell douglas what's happening with it home what's going on with you we looking we looking at it like you know from the outside looking at it diddy is a is a young savant he's a he's a he's a trailblazer he before his time you know he like suge knight but he doing it the right way that shit went <clears throat> real quick yeah. Well, at least that's what he. Really that, starts. Well, that's what he. That's what he made people think. <clears throat> exactly, because then nobody really started side eyeing him until Big died. Well, I'm not gonna say that. People were side eyeing him <clears throat> during the whole Death Row Bad Boy era. You know what I'm saying? But they were just like choosing a side. But when Big died, and then people started. You know what I'm saying? Trying to link him to Big and then link him to Pac. Yeah. It just never well, turned around. <clears throat> he, he put out some good he put out some good music on some dudes and 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 you know got everybody <clears throat> for that, you know. But <clears throat> nobody never really stopped side eyeing him. There's it, something to this dude. You know, we always looked at Puff like the little, you know, the, the <clears throat> little wimp guy because he was always pitted against Suge Knight. And we, you know, we looked at Suge Knight as big pyro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, so he kind of, he kind of, he kind of made it. People let him make it because, you know, you know, Suge, them, them, them some dirty dudes. But man, listen, come to find out, he was just as bad. He was just as bad. Oh, you know what oh. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He, uh, but see, <clears throat> a lot of people looked at him sideways, man. But like at the same time, far that far the pox shit. But <clears throat> me personally, I don't really think Puff had nothing to do with the pox shit. I, I stopped thinking name kept. I don't think he had reach like that. Dude. I don't know no pox shit. And I don't know about why, that site. Oh, I ain't gonna say he ain't got the reach. <clears throat> but I'm gonna say this. I think that would count like on some I think the poxy kind of oh uh oh I'm finna go there. <clears throat> I think the poxy oh, yeah. was kinda like the dog shit. Well, what mm-hmm. I mean by that word like yeah, they're making it look like a sad. Okay, well, the sad is involved. But well, at the same token, your side don't really like you neither. Right. 
Oh, like bag those type shit, bitch. Police involved. Okay, so if you're gonna take it, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna say this. Um, what if 10 years down the line, you know what I'm saying, 35, 36 year old straight drop come out, interview from prison saying that, yeah, God had paid us $200,000 to, um, Get rid of Dolph. See what I'm saying? Since oh. you're going to put it like that, it's the same thing, bro. It's the same thing. It's just different places. <clears throat> I never, the, I, the, never the, say, the, I never said it wouldn't. But see, like. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, y'all put me up against the wall, man. I kind of put me up against the wall. I mean, who, who to say it could have? Oh my god. I don't know man. Who to say it could have went that way, but like I mean on some third party type shit. You know how that shit yeah. go. Oh well, yeah. You know, <clears throat> um, if you know, you know. Yeah, Eric Von Zip. I mean, let's 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 do a deep dive. You let's know go. Eric Von Zip. Eric Von Zip was the bag man. <clears throat> See, he didn't like pub needle. And he ran off with the bag. Mm-hmm. I, I, last I heard, somebody ran off with the bag for Dolph. Let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. So the situations are very similar, fam. Well, so I I do believe he has something to do with it. And um, I believe they're going to prove it. I believe they're going to prove it. Oh. But when they do prove it, guess what? It ain't it ain't even gonna matter because he didn't got so entangled in so much bullshit since then. The park homicide damn near become minuscule, you know. It damn near <clears throat> become minuscule when you talk about um becoming a a trafficker for the industry. You know what I'm saying? This is the ten four <clears throat> type talk. This is the Illuminati conspiracy type talk. Yeah. And the people that don't talk about Illuminati conspiracy type talk are talking about it. Thanks for so uh, crazy about this. Uh, uh, yeah. You don't hear that ten four um hat talk on CNN and headline news and Fox News. Wait, they, they won't even let them put that out there. Come on, man. Let's just keep no. it. Exactly, <clears throat> but now, but I, but I think, but I think, I mm. think, I think this like, I think, I would love to see them solve the big murder out of all of them, out of all the shit. You damn, yeah. you damn near solve them all if you solve the big murder. If you solve the pop murder, <clears throat> you you damn near solve them. I'm telling you, I think they all connected, bro. On what side? On the bad boy side. On the bad boy side. Mm-hmm. Cam said, "Um, I think the industry gave Diddy his reach for Pac, Quincy, and Clive. Now, listen. Mm-hmm. Um, that makes a whole hell of a lot of sense. And we're not going to sit up here and act like the government did not want Pac out here moving and shaking <clears throat> well, with a bag full of money and and and, and, a, and a team full of gangsters <clears throat> at his at his fingertips, you know. Well, well, the the, the high up that I've been told, put what a word. They like Pac in the road, big in the road, still going to jail. That's why he came. I said, no, curl Pac got to die big, got to die sure, got to go to jail. I can't continue to live my life like this. Yeah, they would already yeah, set the yeah. stone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here is where this shit That's... get tricky. Now, the lie they told was, oh, they were trying to get pub too. But if that was the case, according to the, the footage they put out, the killer was right there. So if he wanted to shoot pub, he would have. Elaborate on that. <clears throat> okay, you remember when they were in the van, they were getting ready to leave right from the feeder. 
Yeah. When the puff and them stopped, the killer was right there. Yeah. yeah At the right. car, he leaned over and yeah. said what he said and pulled off. Yeah, the Muslim dude. Man, I don't believe none of that. Right? That boy went out there for nobody but Big, bro. Mm-hmm. He went out there for nobody but Big. Mm-hmm. Perfectly positioned in a in a in a <laughs> in an area full of cars at, at one of the biggest parties <clears throat> in the city. In the in what at one of the biggest parties <clears throat> in the one of the biggest cities in the country. Right. And with he, nothing but it, stars there. If he if he wanted to kill Puff, he would have shot Puff right there. Puff stopped the damn car when they were coming out the middle what's that the park garage, right? Right. Linked up, said something to do with the dude, crowd the door of the car. And then they pulled off. You can see it clear day. Right. Do I need to pull that up? I don't, let me see how I can pull that up. But yeah. It's crazy, bro. <clears throat> it's crazy. It's all connected. Mm-hmm. And he had involvement in both of them. And they gonna have to prove me wrong on that one he had something to do with both of them you know so that's how i feel about it all that raiding and still no arrest warrants hey man and and, and choke no joke this and choke no joke this is bulging deal so bad <clears throat> yeah what choke no joke say said gee you took the guns away from d rock so they ain't have no gun Yeah. Yeah, I'll and, watch um, the choke I'll watch the choke like for you came on with choke I'll re watch it again. Right. You know, um what did they say? Um they brought them John Silver on they brought them over on the airplane. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. They brought them John Silver on the airplane. You you can't you can't do that these days. Hey man. Well, well, they had a private. Well, they had a private jet, didn't they? <clears throat> I, mean, I, think, I don't I think, think they did. No, they won't fly private. They did. No, he was, no. He was there. But but Deal did it with their but did it with their first class though. Yeah, deal was <clears throat> flying commercial. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was it was a setup. Did it told the driver to speed up, run the light. Right before Big got shot, <laughs> stay woke. Hey man, I um I believe that too. It's been a long time since I seen that footage. You know, <clears throat> now you um, need to look at it because when he leaned up, dude was standing at the goddamn car. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's check it out. Big pressure. <laughs> Broadcasting live from NYC. What's up with it, home? 
My boy at the real location said. <clears throat> what up, what up, what it do? <clears throat> real location said, plus the CIA had 3,000 pages on Pac. He played gangster, but he was a revolutionary warrior bringing his people together. Now, Big got, 59, got that $59 million deal with Sony. Clive Davis was pissed. Yeah, they was they was they was hot with Big. They was hot with Big. <laughs> One of the reasons I felt like they were hot with Big because, you know, Big was pissed off because he got duped out of his publishing. So he went and created a group, Junior mm-hmm. Mafia. And um they had so much motion. So they, they went and got him a major deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they was not feeling that. I didn't know Clyde Davis was pissed, but I know Puffy was. So I guess if 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 Clive if if uh, Clive was pissed, that's that's an automatic for Puffy, cause you know that's boss. Y'all gotta hear the audio of the nine one one phone calls from Diddy and Gene Deal. Yeah, it's been so long ago since all of this shit had went out went went on. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But it, it's all relevant. It's all relevant. Mm-hmm. That kind of that kind of break down just, the whole that kind of break down the whole Dolph situation, but mm-hmm. without the police. But here right. was the thing: who on his side wanted him out of it? Mm. Who you think that was? <clears throat> I don't know. And it's going to come out. Like I'll hear the thing. They can't get to him if his side don't play a part. They can't get to Pa if niggas and death row don't play a part. They can't get to B if Pub don't go along with the play. Y'all see how the back door works? You're right. You're absolutely right. So, who on the paper route side was working with CMG and wanted to talk pattern? Because Dolph ain't no hundred dollar nigga. He's a multi million dollar nigga. Right. Exactly. Man, J Rail said, as a youngster watching this, I knew Bigger would die too after Pac dead. Well, he put it in the song. He put it in the song on the. Over there. Just lay down. Somebody got to die. If I go, you got to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a staunch believer of, you know, life and death is in the power of the tongue. And when you put something out there, it's out there. <clears throat> well, he knew and... he was going to die. He, he said that he was like, man, nigga, he said he was going to get killed. This is the gun he said he was gonna get shot with, and all his niggas was gonna know who killed him. Well, man, you can't I'll, write no you gotta, you better shit. Put me on game about that, cause I don't, I don't remember that song. What song was that? It's on that. It's on that life after death. Mm-hmm. He was like, he was like, um. Oh. I got hit with the Luger. With the Luger, they hit me, they feel me. Some shit like that. He was like, my mama walked to the castle yelling past the whole time. My homie know who killed me, they feel me. With the Luger. Mm-hmm. Some shit like, I'm not saying it to you. I'm yeah, like, to me. damn. <clears throat> if Biggie was his man, Puff was supposed to bust the U and went back. No nah, hell. No nah, hell. How about shit? <laughs> no, nah, Puffin, man, ain't Puff ain't got only way Puff would have busted you if Clive Davis was in that truck. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. uh, that's a fact. Not to mention, Big been sneaked this and pop before and after death. Oh uh, shit, I ain't know about the after death because shit. I mean, <coughs> well, that, know, well, I, 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 well. What that what that song Long Kiss Good Night on Life After Death was a diss to Tupac, and that somebody got to die that was in the diss to Tupac. 
for whatever the, the lead did to two father somebody got that. But everybody know the long kiss couldn't like was to do a whole dish to a two father. He was like, I ain't mm. mad at you. I ain't mad at you. <clears throat> yeah, I remember that. I remember that. And that shit so long ago, bro. <laughs> oh, he said, he said, okay, that's the name of the track, My Downfall. Well, he was talking about how he was going to get killed with a gun, he was going to get shot with, how his yeah. mama was going to be at the cat yelling bastard, and all his friends mm-hmm. know who killed him. <clears throat> Yeah, boy. I gotta run it back then. Let's go. Run it back. What up with it, Antonio? <clears throat> okay, let's go. I'm with it, nigga. Let's go. Whatever you with, I'm with it, bro. Yeah, I wish I could play that shit up. <laughs> Yo, man. It'd be it'd be nice. Oh yeah, it yeah. was beef. Yeah, beef. That was a that was a uh, hard song too. All of them rappers' lyrics hit different when they gone. It do seem like they see or feel something coming man either that or they are they <coughs> playing and that shit turned out they, they done manifested that shit i feel like pock i felt like pock felt it you know what i'm saying but big i i don't know <coughs> I mean, big he felt it. two albums ready to die and life after death big felt it mm-hmm. my nigga because he was basically broke down how he was gonna die who was, who was, who was gonna know about him getting killed <clears throat> Bro, you don't say shit like that unless you know what the nigga on the hell like that. Well, um, <clears throat> when you get know, a chance, Big when you get a colorful personality, you know what I'm saying? When, when you don't, get a chance, you know listen my, to my downfall, man. I'm going to listen to it, but we ain't, we ain't going to act like Big and have a colorful personality. He rapped about a lot of crazy shit. <laughs> yeah, he did. You know, don't. Don't you effing know my niggas kidnap kids, bump them in they toss them over the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he was talking about Seagull. He Gullo, talked about Seagull. a lot of crazy shit. Yeah. He mentioned Seagull. <clears throat> um, sticking up pregnant women, you know, robbing them for their number one mom pendant. You know, all all kind of old crazy stuff, man. You know, but that was the that was the era. You tried to be as fetched as, as you could be. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Puff yeah. Had the whole bad boy throwing shots at Big. Was throwing shots at Big <laughs> along with Nas and Jay Z. Listen to Brooklyn's Finest and Nas Street Dreams. Yeah. I'm about to check it out, man. <clears throat> yeah, the um, beginning of my year. Ah, oh, well, hey, SK2. SK2. Who was in that? Uh, who was in that? And that, uh, in that skit in my downfall. Ask him what's that yeah. puff. Ask him what's that puff in that skit. Uh, <clears throat> you heard him, K2. <laughs> you ask him. He right there. <laughs> oh, I ain't know. I ain't know. I ain't know if he just. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it was kind yeah, he said that it was. It's like you're gonna die. It was like you're gonna die, uh-huh. Yeah, <clears throat> man. Think about big become competition. I was there in the streets of New York. <clears throat> now just think about the dog situation, him not signing that deal. The Zionists can't eat. With you, they gotta cash. They can't eat with you. You gotta cash. You gotta go cash. Money. No limit folded. Yeah, that's true. You gotta go cash money. Yeah. Kevin no Phelps said. He, he said Kevin Phelps said knocking off Anthony Mason no limit. Yeah, Biggie was big. That wasn't that song. Oh, I got a story to tell. He was kind of Anthony Mason. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that he not? Did you know that, um threw a bunch of subs at Wu Tang Clan? He didn't like them niggas for some reason. <clears throat> well, him and E Forty kind of had a clash going on. So yeah, a lot of niggas that were that fuck with me like that. Right. <clears throat> well, he he was getting too he was getting too much shine, bro. He was getting way too much shine. Puff had to build that. Now that's one thing I can say. 
the Brandon that Puff did was second and nine. Yeah. Second <clears> and nine. Uh, that's who was speaking in the beginning. Yeah, did he? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Indeed. I always want to know who was on that interlude with him. I really it was didn't Puff know. Biggie was trying to warn us. He knew he was going to be sacrificed. Now. <clears throat> you, you, you good? Yeah, I'm good. You sound like you finna go under the weather, man. Well, I'm already there, but, you know, pushing myself. I feel, I feel <clears> you, bro. I, you know me, I just came came back this way. <laughs> yeah. Y'all making me see similarities in Park and Big, Park or Big, and Dog, Kushug, <clears throat> Big and all, and all along, we kind of got it right, but they really all wrong. There you go. Mm. There you go. You see it from there. That's some, yeah, that's some shit right there, Cam. Hey, Cam, bro. <laughs> man. Yeah, I appreciate you adding adding to the content, bro. <laughs> deposits, what's up with it, home? What's going on with you? Long time <clears throat> no see, Brody. Yeah, deposits. What's going on with the team in a minute? Shout out to the home of deposits. Yeah, for real. Man, Alabama yeah, representing yeah. in here tonight. Hey, man, we got to. We got to, my boy Chevy Ryder probably at the club or something. <laughs> you know yeah, man? shout out to OG Chevy Ryder too, man. Fact, big facts. Hey, y'all hit the like button for your boy, man. Hey, yeah, hit yeah, like man. Button. Yeah, oh, 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 the truck camera, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's a back door and all this shit. That's basically what I'm saying. <clears throat> but hit the like button for your boy. Support people, the channel. But people um, want you to just come out and just tell them, man, no, you got to be gay. Right. <clears throat> uh, my dog just sent I'm going I'm to I'm listen to this, K2. I'm definitely going to listen to it. <clears throat> yeah, because um, just just hearing everything, it bring, it bring back some old memories. I'm talking about some old <clears throat> memories, fam. Yeah. Um, yeah. But Puffy branded the shit out of um big, you know, and a lot of people couldn't stand that, you know. We all talk about the King of Memphis, but when they when they came out with that King of New York shit, niggas really didn't know that. Um, it was a lot of New York niggas that wasn't messing with it. The only reason they didn't say nothing is because the East Coast West Coast shit was so big. <laughs> They, yeah, they knew they had to take a side. They knew they had to take a side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So you think someone in pre gonna get indicted? <clears throat> um, yep. It's, it's, it, it all depends on what you <clears throat> what they getting indicted for. That's the thing. They gonna get it. You know what? I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily think it gonna be no rapper. Mm-hmm. Well, I could be wrong, but I know it's gonna be a couple of paper. It's gonna be a paper route of two or three of these indicted for this shit. Diddy been a puppet master for years. <laughs> Diddy in the center of a lot. Absolutely, absolutely. And fellas and ladies, if anybody wanna, you know, what I'm saying, get a opinion. Hey man, listen, I'm finna drop <laughs> it again. If y'all want to come up and talk about it, we can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? My dog, Christian. What's up with it, man? Straight out Christian. of that Moscow, Tennessee. My What's up, Christian? It, what it do, man? Welcome home. Yes, indeed. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yes, sir. The pilots say Diddy was a pretty boy. That's why he was able to do so much BS because he didn't fit the image of a gangster. Listen. Deposits. I just said this. I think that's part of it, but I think a major part of it is the fact that we were always pitting Diddy versus Suge, and Suge was just such an imposing figure till it made Diddy look a certain way, and you couldn't take him serious. <laughs> Nobody, you know what I'm saying? If you weren't in their inner circle, you didn't take Diddy serious. He's always dancing and wearing shiny suits and whispering and shit. <clears throat> you know I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking that shit went like this, bro. 
by Keefe being cool with Suge and <clears throat> and the other nigga, the security guard. Reggie. I think, yeah, Reggie, okay. I think they kind of opened up the door for the link to the death of me for bad boy. I think all these niggas in cahoots with a lot of shit, man. And I think the shit didn't play out how they want it. And <clears throat> God don't like ugly. Sure went to jail. Reggie went to jail and now he going through a lot. And now look what happened to Diddy. You well, know. I'm say this. And I don't gotta come full circle, bro, when you do evil shit. Right. <clears throat> and it, it did go how they wanted. And I right. believe this right here happened. I believe that Suge was a bully when it came to rappers. <clears throat> he was a bully when it came to rappers. But when niggas found out that, hey, there's some people that were sitting high that put this together, he was not going to say a word. You hear me? Salute the big press, the press world in the building. What's happening? Salute, Salute sight. What's going Salute on? What's going on, pressure? Hey, man, my audio straight. My shit been acting crazy, straight. man. Yeah, 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 your audio you straight, bro. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but, um, listen, so Knight knew where, he knew <clears throat> where to throw his weight around, and he knew that he couldn't come against the people that Puff had in his corner. P- period, point blank. Period point blank. <clears throat> Deposits. What's happening? That's why he said he, What's up with y'all? he even if he knew he wouldn't tell. What's up with it, Doc? I can't call it. No, that ain't that ain't the reason why he said if he knew he wouldn't tell. He, the reason why he said if he knew he wouldn't tell because he know most of that shit came from next time, bro. You gotta feel it. Nigga ain't gonna tell on that shit. Well, Hold on a second, side. Even in my city in Jersey, I couldn't even play big around certain neighborhoods without causing problems. My family knew people who was cool with some of the models. Absolutely. Uh, Yafet, he is from Jersey. Um, yeah. And he got killed. He got on the live shortly after he admitted that he would um, point somebody out. Execute. He got killed execution style. So, um, Gaddafi. I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. Um, should back doing pop because honestly, he don't benefit. He just don't benefit from it. Yeah, I pop can't was see the that. Hottest artist on his label, and if you remember, like, I remember that dog father shit was trash. Yeah, it was trash. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> he ain't benefit a thing from getting rid of Pac, bro. I'm saying the way Pac was working, pushing out uh two and three albums a week, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just <clears throat> one album, bro, we had like 15 Machiavellis after Pac died, and then still had some more music. Man, Pac was a so, beat. That, that's that's my whole thing. What up with the deposits? What's going on? <clears throat> they, they still got Pac in the vault now. Some shit that they ain't never been heard. Exactly. And they won't even drop it. They won't release it again. They won't release it. For it, it it's held up. <clears throat> yeah, Pac was a Go ahead, press. Deposit. I mean, uh, like, like I said, if they can't get you one way, they don't get you another. But I do think that a lot of stuff, I think somebody talking, all right? And the reason why I know somebody talking, I'm going to tell you how I know somebody talking. When they come with search warrants without a risk warrant, somebody talking in their circle. They don't have, they, they can't go on the statement alone. They need something else to go along with the statement somebody made. So... So I think oh, yeah, Gene is pretty much him. talking. He doing all the talking. He telling all the shit he know. Now they got to prove. Man, I'm a, I'm and so this is where it all comes from, huh? 
I, well, I don't think that nobody that you see on this internet is the, is they go to for information. I really don't feel that way. Well, and I feel like nah, nah. Then Bill Carson is bothering him, bro. You can tell the way he talks. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he might yeah. need to you know. His conscience bothering him. Yeah. Jane so might start be looking at the. So when you start looking at the game, Meek, French, Rick Ross, plus Yo Gotti, all down with the program. It's the year of truth, I think, Puff is Clive's sacrifice. Let's count the bodies Clive got. Well, uh, I'm going to start and stop with Whitney Houston. That's why I'm starting and that's why I'm stopping. But, um, <laughs> you know, that's the biggest one. But uh, that's that's a, that's a good point. That's a good point. But what I'm finna say, um, yeah, man, his uh, Gene Deal's conscience is bothering him. I, uh -huh. yeah, that's the, only, that's the only that, that's the only thing make a person start talking about stuff like this. <laughs> like for real, <laughs> like for real. The only reason you will compromise yourself like this is your conscience. So yeah, five thousand five thousand dollars an interview will make me talk. I wouldn't compromise myself. I wouldn't I wouldn't gamble with no jail mm. time. I wouldn't be telling no shit like that for no five thousand interview. You see what I'm saying? He always like, removed he always remove himself from the situation though. Exactly. He tell everybody. But he don't because he go he go do. He put himself in the car. He go into detail. He always <laughs> outside the door around the corner down the hallway he didn't heard something he didn't seen somebody come out of a room he never in concert with these people well, yeah That's yeah what i'm talking yeah. about yeah, yeah. keep it deep yeah. keep it deep keep it deep and gene deal is talking because they conscious is bothering them both of them uh -oh. both of them are talking and because they conscious and then choke just exposed Jane. he was like nigga you took the guns away from D Rock, nigga. That's why them niggas ain't had no guns in your conscience. He was like, nigga, that's really why them niggas was naked. Because you took the guns away from them. That could have been a puff move. But, yeah. Then he got to talk about the job rule shit. But then, come on, man. You just, your conscience fucking with you too much, man. Man, I'm but, but, we, we, but, but we really, I'm we really got to. Money, Jack. Let's let's keep we, it a buck, bro. Gene Deal been out here for the last five to seven years. His con man, he'd have been a dome himself if the conscience was messing with him that bad. Now nah. uh -uh. that man been nah. talking on his platform and everybody that's willing to listen, bro. Uh, but but for 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 this long, come on, man. No. Well, well, I think I I think Keith D. I think when they got Keith D, they brought in a whole lot of uh stuff to the table. But see. This is what we gotta. This is what I'm trying to say, Alabama. Is they mm. went to the house with a search warrant without an arrest warrant. That's the part right there that sort of sticks out to me. And they still hadn't arrested him yet with all the evidence mm. they took from the house. So it's sort of you know I don't know what's going on. With well, I don't either. <laughs> but I'm gonna say this. I um, I absolutely think that something gonna come out of it you know let them folk put all they put they looking at pieces to the puzzle and they don't know where them pieces get, where them pieces go they gonna find out where them pieces <laughs> go and once they find out it's gonna be hell to pay i'm telling you they know what they know where the pieces go once homeland security pulled up my nigga they know what they knew what the pieces go at hey yeah i be seeing people <laughs> on instagram going at them niggas yeah, but that because he's dealer and that because he's dealer. Uh, mm -hmm. Then they be giving uh puff hell every day. But but well, he been calling them nigga out for the longest though. Like ever since the goddamn uh that fucked up interview he did with uh Jada Kiss and Fabulous on Drink Champs. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. the weirdest shit I ever seen, nigga. That shit was wild. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, when you gonna hey, party with me? Hey, Jada when, kissed up all the way in his goddamn hoodie. That that nigga didn't even want to be there. Right. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not even. I'm not even going to argue the fact that Diddy probably was doing some questionable stuff. You see what I'm saying? See, I sort of. Right. I sort of look at things like a, a defense attorney. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the proof? What's the fact? Like, we can. Yeah. We already know there's some questionable stuff went on, right? Everybody pretty much know Diddy was doing a little bit of. Uh, uh, did it when he, he was a freak he was a freakazoid he was he was over hypersexual or something you know what yeah. I'm saying <laughs> we know that now everybody know that Art Kelly War too you know what I'm saying so I'm not knocking it but can they prove it I that's that's to be seen that's to be known that's the question but oh, when they raid a house and they don't have an arrest warrant I mean do y'all know anybody that had that happened in them honestly do y'all know it? Because I honestly don't nah. know nobody that didn't have Ray on their shit without an original. Nah, man. yeah, that, yeah, that was different. And then that's in New York. You you got to have even goddamn more of a reason up there. It was in L.A. It was in L.A., yeah, Miami, yeah, York, Miami, L.A. Yeah, so you know, think about that now. You got to think about that. They raided his home without an original. Now they can. Ain't no telling what they can fucking put on them if they want to. So, you know what I'm saying? I think that that's a little bit, you know, if we can't get you one way, we'll get you another. It's some very highfalutin. Um, <laughs> people of Jewish descent that um could be involved in this. Yeah. That's that's They're that's what talking time. about hitting cameras and shit in all them goddamn rooms. Right, right, right. We don't even we don't know if somebody, you know, what I'm saying, caught wind of all of these cameras and stuff and said, "Go get that shit." Yeah, you know what I'm saying, go get that shit. We need to see what he got, and um, hell, it could be a situation where um. If they find the right thing, buddy plane might crash. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah his plane might crash. He yeah. Might not, he, or he might not do a day in jail. Yeah. Yeah. So like, there's, like there's I, several I think different that, ways to look at it. I, I think that they scare everybody who's been in them parties and in them houses. You see what I'm saying? That's the reason why people being so quiet. You know, Boosie was like, "What? Why are the friends in there?" Because a lot of them so quiet. Cause she, if, if Diddy had cameras in room, and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's scared. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that that would be the sense. Say, be just say, got that everybody quiet because they didn't know that nigga had all them hidden ass cameras and shit. Right. So they like now nah, off off with that nigga head now. Nah. Yeah. Right. This nigga got us yeah, doing all kind of crazy ass shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see what he got. Let's see what he got. And if and if he got what we think he got, yeah. We'll let the narrative be what the narrative is. But um just know that um he won't do a day in jail. He won't even see the inside of a courtroom. Yeah, mm-hmm. Jamie Foxx got sick as hell. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And planes still crash. They still crash, bro. So, hey, hey but uh, I seen I seen a video. I seen a video today of of, of somebody post said did it still still out here? So he's moving yeah, around man, like he ain't shit bothering, like he ain't bothering. Yeah. So. I don't really know what to take from that. I don't really know. Like, I guess we got to give it more time to really be honest about the shit. So, I, yeah, now I'm not questioning nothing that he was doing, but uh, whether he was, uh, you know, whether it was done in one way or another, that that's that that's the situation. You see, what I mean? like, I ain't here to defend Diddy against his. His, his, his party. That shit was, oh, no obviously was wild. Oh, no. Too many people talking about that. 
don't know, man. Man, listen. That boy, that, hey. He like walking through the Bible Belt. Like, he a six-year-old child's bedroom. It's so messy in that moment. They're going to find something. They're going to stumble over something if they don't find something. They're going to stumble over it. It's just too much, man. It's 30 years worth of evidence. You know? And all but, it's going to take you... is for, for some people to find out and figure out that they can talk. And when they, when they, when they can talk without consequence, it's over with, man. It's, it's over with. Trust and believe me, it's gonna happen. We forgetting about Cassie's statements and her complaints. She called the she called out SA solicitation, uh, drugs and guns. That Negro cook feds just haven't finished typing up the indictment. It's coming, y'all. I'm I mean, I, be, I I can believe that, that, that it could be coming, but if it but. If it don't come faster with all the sh- the stunt they pulled, with all the show they made, you see what I'm saying? Like when you yeah. come like that, you expect something to come fast. If it take too long, then something ain't right. Y'all didn't find what y'all were looking for. You see what I'm saying? Right. Right. It's right. just right. like that across right. all cases. All cases be the same way, really. Hey, because Puff, Puff see- had knew they were going to bust a move mm-hmm. sooner or later, man. It'll, right. it'll be crazy for him to have some shit in there. Like Keith it did. That's what I'm saying. After Cassie hit him, after Cassie hit him, and then we were talking about it two weeks before the shit they, they went in the house. So you know what I'm saying? He had to know. Yeah, Puff ain't that stupid of a nigga. Yeah. 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 They should have searched them bags before he left out the country. If they didn't, oh, you know what I'm saying? Now, nah, yeah, they let him go out the country. So, no, I ain't whatever no. he, he made, he probably took everything he know he had out the country. You know what I mean? Right. Because he came back like, shit, I'm smooth sailing, nigga. They ain't trying shit. They ain't got no rent warrant for me. So, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, hey, same thing with Keep It Deep, bro. Listen, <clears throat> as soon as you started seeing, as soon as you start seeing more, like you saw a post today, did it with with a white dude. Okay, you you as time go on, you're gonna see a couple of more of them. And when them when them posts start becoming regular, that is a signal of him letting his guard down, but they still coming, bro. Yeah, they are still coming. Yeah, I think that drug mule was planted together. Info, not that, that drug mule. It could be, but that drug mule gonna talk. Yeah, Brennan, whatever his name is, shout out to him. Yeah, many cases across the country, even local. You can raid before an arrest. They raided our Kelly studio and arrested him three years later. Hmm. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, it's coming. They came fast because they didn't know if people had guns. And I think they came fast because um, they knew that he knew that they was coming. And they wanted to get as much information and, and as much um, physical evidence as they, that they could get so they can start building this case. There's too many complaints that then came out. You know, Cassie, she broke the water on it. She broke the water on it. So, you know. Y'all know what it is. I mean, shit. Hey, listen. <clears throat> take a listen to um. Let's take a listen to Reggie Reggie White, Reggie Wright. Yeah, Officer Reggie Wright, <laughs> Death Row. Um, and what he said about did it about three, four weeks ago. Yeah, we finna get into this. Y'all smash that like button. If you're not sub to the channel, sub to the channel. If you can support the channel, support the channel. Everything is greatly appreciated. We appreciate y'all, man. That way. Speaking of Diddy, in the lawsuit that Little Rod filed, he said something that you had said a couple of months ago, and that was that Diddy has tapes, hidden tapes, because he had a bunch of hidden cameras throughout his facilities or whatever. And I know a while back you had said, 
you know, that they're going to raid Diddy for four tapes. What were your thoughts when you read the lawsuit and saw that, you know, little Rod was accusing, important word, accusing Diddy of having all these hidden cameras and all these uh, videotapes? Ha! It hasn't happened yet. He hasn't been raided yet. Trust Reggie motherfucking right. They coming. They talk about the, 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 the secret tapes and the secret cameras and all of that too much. Too much for the police, for a law enforcement official to convince a DA and a judge to issue a warrant to at least go for a fishing expedition, to go hunting, to go looking for something. Hopefully, Diddy is smart enough to call up his good friend Russell and say, hey, Russell, I got these tapes. Because, you know, it's one thing about pedophiles and murderers and stuff like that. They do not like getting rid of the evidence. They mm. Big facts. Mm. Treyon Owen. Uh, what that, they said that boy still had the pipe from the dog on the live -in. You know, um, they, Kelly kept a lot of stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Them people love souvenirs, fam. And that's going to be the undoing. It, and, it, and it's just not, it's not isolated. It's something in that, in that type of person's makeup that they just got to have that stuff to go back and reminisce. Yeah. I don't know, fam. Hold yep. on to that shit like crazy. How many times y'all heard somebody get like, damn, how the fuck that nigga still got the gun? <laughs> that gun would have been in the ocean here, there, you know. How they hold because they hold on to their tapes. That's what that's why they do it. So they need it. And law enforcement know this. So what you do in situations like that is you're generally supposed to tell people, hey. Let me ship this to you and hide this. Let me hide this at your place. And that's what hopefully Diddy is smart enough to do. <laughs> I won't want that shit at my place. <laughs> but Russell Douglas just said it. He said he probably got them videos in another country so the feds can't get to him. Hey, that'd be a smart move. Hey, we never we never accused Diddy of being um a slow individual, an ignorant individual. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that would be a smart move. But did he move everything? I'm not trying to tell him to do it and trying to aid and abet him or give him some advice. I'm just talking to you youngsters. I'm just trying to educate people. My whole goal here is to educate people to be smart, to don't get caught up in stupid stuff. Now, that's why I tell y'all, you get caught, you get arrested, what to do? Shut up. Wait till you get an attorney there if you decide you're going to get down. That's a term that they use in the feds. I got down first. <laughs> That's crazy. I got down first. Yeah. In, in, in the words of Reggie Wright, Reggie mother effing Wright. Yeah, he said. Yep, he definitely, his he, he definitely right. Mm. But to see, but see, this this is the thing. This is the thing. I definitely think the fans is watching social media close and the people who make statements and the people they investigate. See what I'm saying? Oh, I definitely believe they investigate people and they watch their social media media activity if they investigate. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when they heard this, they maybe said, you know what? Let's go see what he got in the house. But I think mm -hmm. that the whole drama that's been leading them to this, they was a little bit too late. They should have, if they were going to do it, they should have went right out to the cast and shit. I, they gave him way too much time to clean this shit up. Right. <laughs> well, yeah. Really After Cassie, Cassie came with a, see, this is the way they do you. They hit you with a blow, make you sell a lot of court, then they run, then they run the goddamn blitz on you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to hit you with something that they're going to pretty much have you in a bag on, and you're going to weaken down, you're going to pay that money, then they're going to run the blitz. Right. 
Um, as well as get says, where the white girl at? What's up with it, huh? So well, you back? Good. Let's go. <laughs> so, where the white girl at that's supposed that he is supposedly adopted? And who knows? I believe he may be in hiding. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot going on behind the scenes, fam. We just gotta wait for it to come out, and it's gonna come out sooner than later. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Luke, bro, uh, I keep I keep reading that. Um, <laughs> the problem with all of this, they put everything online, dry snitching on themselves. Young Miami bragging about the money. <laughs> I hope she claims it to the IRS. Hey, yeah, for real. And, th- and then, then think think about that video that because uh, honestly, I, I don't know about nobody else. That video just surfaced up out of nowhere the last two, two three months of the, of the of him and that girl. You know what I'm saying about the adoption issue. So how long they done had that video? And, and that right there has been a long while. Like that was not. I don't know what Diddy was thinking about. <laughs> I don't know what he man, was thinking about. Man. That, that, was, that was the most incriminating shit ever. Yeah. Pressure, for real. I don't that know was, what he was thinking about making that video. Nah, that's a fact. Oh, my, my dog, the real Lord Cason said Diddy was doing too much and not making hit songs. Someone got to take the blame for hip hop down 44%. Puff sell out, Jay Z sell out. <clears throat> For the Zionists, they turn it back on the brothers and sisters in the hood. Hey, absolutely, <clears throat> absolutely. I told y'all it the way I've been dried up for Puff. Puff had to find some different revenues, and I believe they they propositioned him with what he being investigated for now. I just do. I, I feel, man. Listen, this is a this is um a, a fashionista. You know, everybody on the screen. And just about everybody in this chat then had on some Sean John at one point in time. Like, you know what I'm saying? You done bought a Bad Boy album at one point in time in your life. You know what I'm saying? To go from that to where he at now, it's just like, it's crazy. It's crazy. They accusing this man for having uh, a network. A network. And everybody man, talking man. about... Man. Fifty trolling, um, he... everybody talking about him trolling, um, Fifty Cent trolling him. Well, we we just found out why Fifty was trolling him. <clears throat> yeah, because his, his, his name, it, it, his name tied to every, his, his name tied to every major felony you can think of right now. <laughs> like real shit. His name tied to every major felony you can think of. And when you talking about trafficking, uh, you know what I'm saying? On a line, they ain't trying to do too much stuff, man. And right. for them still not to have no rent going, you see what I'm saying? Like, where we going here? I, I don't know. See, you know, because I know I that the, they work their way up the ladder. Pressure. Pressure. This is, this is up when on the upper level. They... level. Hey, when they come with that, when they come with that one, I'm gonna hit you on Instagram and I'm gonna drop the link in your inbox. I, I want you up here. I'm telling you, they gonna drop that. They gonna drop that indictment, bro. I, I, I believe, I believe they is. But see, this is the thing about it. I believe that they should already have an indictment based on what we know. They should, they should at least have an arrest warrant based on some of the stuff that. We all really there and we talking about on the internet. You see what I'm saying? It's specu- see? But it's speculation on this internet. Oh, okay then. So now we gotta prove it. It's speculation, even when hey, somebody is saying making statements. Well, that's, that's why they that's all like speculation, that. even when they make the statement. Listen. You gotta prove Bro, what the statement what... somebody made. Bro, pressure. Them going out to his houses in tactical gear, both houses at the same time, simulated, correlated together. And coming out with all them boxes, that's what's going to set the wheels in motion. That's what it takes the speculation off the table. Everything is speculation until they put this shit together. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's I all I'm saying, lie. bro. But but that, but he don't need to be free. He don't need to be free three, four, five months from now. Because I think whatever they found in their house, they should be able to sort through the evidence within a few months. And if they got something, they got something. But if they don't, I just know that they probably got somebody talking. That's all they really got is people talking. So, you uh, know, let me I say, think talking let is me one say, thing. I think evidence is another. Let me say this. Okay. I think everybody in here has sat in the comfort of their home <clears throat> or somebody else's home and watched R. Kelly do what he did 20 years ago on videotape or DVD. 20 years ago, Kelly didn't get pulled in until, what was it, 18, 19? Mm. Yeah, yeah. And we had the footage. But see, the, even, even, at the even, corner store. even with the R. Kelly case, bro, if they gonna do it right, they gotta do it right. There's a lot of people that should be locked up with R. Kelly. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? So they really if just they do certain right things then. according to how they want to do it. I guess because if you do it right, you should lock up people around that. You know what I'm saying? Because you think about it. They, they went on because they didn't press charges. The, the people didn't want to press charges and they didn't want to push the issue. See, now you can't do that. Everything going to get picked up by the state or the, or the feds or something. <laughs> they picking up all cases. Man. They picking well, up all cases. Well, um, there's paper. I, and, and I'm not trying to be combative, but there's paperwork where Cassie Ventura have accused this nigga in <laughs> court of a whole bunch of heinous shit. And no charges were filed because she took a payment. See what I'm saying? Them people took uh, payments uh, too in the Kelly in the Kelly situation. It just wasn't documented. I mean, of That's course, a lot, about, yeah, a lot of a lot of part of law is about business. And if people don't understand that they won't, they'll miss it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of part of law is business. It's contractual. It's constitution. It's laws that makes up what they can and can't do. Now, if a person don't testify, it used to be like that, but now, I don't know, Fed and state picking up all cases on everybody nowadays. They trying to lock anybody they can lock up up. And then they, then they opening the borders at the same time. Right. Oh, oh, oh. All I know is <clears throat> every case I done seen where the feds is involved, they take their sweet time. Every one of them. Um, this ain't no different. This ain't no different. <clears throat> Everything was speculation until they ran up in them houses. They finna turn speculation into fact. And when they do, We'll see the rest. We'll see a couple of rest. I think I think at least one, if not two, of his sons gonna get arrested. It's gonna well, be a I, lot of people that go down for this shit, fam. I, I'm I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why I think the weak spot is right now, Alabama. The weak mm -hmm. spot in the organization look like it's gonna be the white guy that they got. Right. And he gonna crack, and that's what the spill could come from of information and and being able to verify something so you know what i'm saying but um but yeah i think a lot of the evidence though you know i they may find some in the house but sure the way the way things been going did it probably was smart enough to get it out out of the out of the possession so where is it is the question and that's why i was like where's one word business you know what I'm saying? There's certain people you gotta understand why they disappeared, why they not here, why they not around. Some people got yeah. I believe moved Bentley, to the place. Bentley got a huge payout. I believe people got payouts when I, Cassie wasn't the only one to get a payout. You feel where I'm coming from? Because if you smart enough to know, mm -hmm. if you smart enough to pay Cassie for what she said, then you know that it's people right behind her 
And I feel like he greased a lot of palms after he greased hers. They didn't get what he what she got, but they got something. I definitely believe Bentley got something. Yeah, I think I think the only people that beat Diddy was the people that used cameras on him and record. You see what I'm saying? Other than that, if you didn't have him the way he had you, he had you beat. But a lot, I believe some people started recording. Cause I think that's the reason why Cassie got her money. I think she had some hard. On. She had video evidence of audio evidence of some shit. So she he had to pay her. You see what I mean? He had to pay her. Yeah. Right. Well. So so that's I think Bentley probably got yeah. some money too. People who he paid, yeah. they had some money. If Cassie got that type of evidence and people can just simply give a still frame photo showing that they were in the room, like Lil Rod has done, they ain't gonna need the evidence that Cassie got because of the simple fact that the shit that she get got is verified and they putting themselves in the same position. And that's why his dog got kicked in, fam. Honestly. Mm-hmm. And 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 I always be and this is the back door play. This is the back door play. I right, y'all. Mm-hmm. The reason why this is the reason why you gotta be you gotta be fair and honest with people around you that you love and that you so, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That you feel that way about. Hey, I don't know who they are because mm-hmm. everybody different. But you gotta be honest with them type of people because the back door. This type of thing don't get over for you. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. All these people know all this stuff about him and they been sort of being quiet or they been sort of dodging it but 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 when it all boiled down you know what i'm saying we see cassie some people don't get the evidence they need to to really come through the back door they don't really have the knowledge they know need to have to come through the cassie had with her shit in line when she opened that back door that made a lot of them come out with a lot of rumors. Now, I don't know what's real or fake. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But Cassie right. definitely got paid, and I think she only got paid because she had video or audio evidence of what she was saying. Right. Oh, she got she got paid because he he knew. He knew. See, that that was his that was his main. So it's like And that's really the only way to be in a case nowadays. Is you to have audio or uh, video evidence to say what you were saying. You know what I'm saying? The bad is what you were saying. Right. That's the only way to beat all that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you ain't gonna beat that shit in the court of law. You gonna have something else. Real as a kid say he owes over a hundred million to the, I heard he owe over a hundred million. I I heard that today. So you know what that is? The squeeze play. The squeeze play is coming. Mm-hmm. What the banks don't get. The the Federal yeah. Reserve gonna get. Man, look, this, this is classic. Uh, it, it really ninety eight on VC on VCR <laughs> tapes. You know everything comes through New York. Gene Deal is for real on the streets. Facts. Now Gene Deal has been talking forever. <laughs> the last raw deal, y'all remember that? Oh, I said I, that shit ain't no conscious thing for Gene. I I really don't think it is. Gene then made a, a cool little living off of telling his stories, man. I don't think it's a conscious conscious thing because he been telling these stories for too long. You know, real location said he been telling these stories since ninety eight. That was a year after Big got killed. You know? So I don't know, it could be, but it look it looked like a um career. Uh, it looked like he done made a career out of this shit to me. Well, I'm I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you like this, man. See, sometimes, because even if you look at that family, women's chat, like how the lawyer back door. Hey, pressure the, your mic going in and out, bro. My bad. I, I plugged up that charge. They made me. Uh, can y'all hear me now? Yeah. 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 It's just like that, that, that family women's case in, in, in Atlanta. Uh, if you really look at it, the back, the lawyer back door his partner. You see what I'm saying? The lawyer actually back door his his friend. They had a friend together at one point in time. 
You see what I'm saying? Right. So even on a corporate level, even on bigger stages, even on it's always niggas get offended by some things that somebody did, and then they want to go tell out or do out. So I, I think Gene Deal may have got offended, and he may have uh, been he he probably he, he been saying stuff for a long time. But I think the Keith D situation is really what broke the door. I'm going to tell you. I think Keith D may be talking too. And that's what kicking the door in on what they're trying to find in the house. Just looking at Diddy like the, the telescope became on Diddy because it was a lot. When Keith D got talking, rid of you, huh? It's more, it's more people, and, and your, mic's starting, your mic's starting to do that again, but everybody got a motive. Whether it's money, whether it's freedom, Keith, he don't want to die in jail. He gonna tell everything he know and then some. You know what I'm saying? Um, Gene Deal, this has been a lucrative career for Gene Deal. You know what I'm saying? Um, Lil Rod, Lil Rod got um, ambition still of being a producer. He want his check and he want pain and suffering, and he gonna get that. He gonna get that. Um, but everybody got a motive. Everybody got a motive. I'm telling you, when they when when these people find out that it's actually safe, man, listen, the floodgates are gonna open. Trust me when I tell you now, the floodgates are gonna open when people realize that he he can't hurt them, he can't call no shots. Oh, it's up. Trust me. Yeah, I, I, I mean, if he got arrested. Yeah, right, right, right. Mm-hmm. And then that's and and that and that's and that's part of it too. I think a lot of people right. like you know, and, and yeah. If if he was arrested, it'd be a whole lot more people talking. Yeah. And I and that's the reason why they got to do it right, cause you see what I'm saying? Cause you, you really nowadays we living in 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 in, in the world. Of, the court of public opinion, really. If y'all think that there's anything other than it, it's the court of public opinion. It ain't even about was, you know what I'm saying? Because the way the public feel now, they're, they're, it, it'll change your whole narrative. Because so you got to look at R. Kelly situation. That was play number, I think that was really play number one on, on, on in our face. Like they sort of weakened R. Kelly. They made him go do that dog on interview on Gail King and shit. <laughs> and then they came and got him. You know what I mean? So but 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 they didn't do it right. They didn't do it right because they didn't have they didn't get everybody. That's the problem I have with it. It's like they only getting certain well, people out. I mean, well you I mean, listen. Um Enron. They're not gonna get the niggas in the mail room. Everybody was eating off Enron. Nah, we we can't no, say that. We can't. We can't say. Honestly, we cannot compare that to this type of situation. No, we can because it it was. It, nah, you, I'm you, not, you, you, you okay. You maybe I went. Maybe I went too low. Let yeah. me let me let me let me spit this out, pressure. Maybe I went too low, but I'm telling you, there were people in the know. It's people in the know on every situation that um walk free without consequence they going for the head bro they always go for the head you know the the people that sent them kids to um be in in kale's um walkway or to go audition for kale's you know they ain't got nothing on them to prove that they was you know facilitating or or sending kids his way but they do got evidence that Kale had folk locked up in rooms. You know what I'm saying? Um, Man, a lot of these folk were saying with, that with they, they witnessed in the it. A, a lot of these people were saying they witnessed it and they knew. You see what I'm saying? The, it, it make you, it bring you into question when you witness certain shit. You see what I'm saying? You could be excessive. You could be, you, you brought in the question at that point. So if you knew he was doing certain things and you didn't say nothing, 
then they make you part of the problem. You so see what I'm saying? That's how, so, that's how the so why, so why so why is Gene Deal why is Gene Deal so accepted then? Because Gene Deal witnessed a lot of shit. I'm just saying. I mean, what do you mean by accepted? Because niggas, niggas, Gene Deal standing on business. Gene Deal been telling the truth. Gene Deal conscience messing with him. Gene Deal saw a lot. He telling the well, same shit. See, you see, see this is thing. This is thing about it. A lot of niggas don't grow old enough to 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 stand to to get older and then start bothering them. Most niggas die before we bother them. So. I think we seeing some old niggas starting to be bothered by some of the shit they don't. And maybe I don't know if they want to write it wrong before they know they finna go see and make fun what they're doing. But they talking. This nigga. <laughs> they telling this the truth. Gene, and when you tell Gene the truth, they can come back on. Damn near 30, Gene Deal been talking for damn near 30 years. And ain't implicated itself in nothing. And everybody rock with him. He 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 got them black America. But but you know, but you know you can be a it, it can be a case of you know too much, right? Like how you know all of this and you you didn't know what was going on. Like no, no I, uh, so so by him having all these stories, damn, wouldn't wouldn't that say that he in some way, form or fashion is condoning in this shit? Because Gene Deal was a former cop, right? Am I? I, I, I mean, yeah, that's what I thought. That's yeah. exactly, exactly. So, man, listen, bro, they ain't gonna get everybody. Somebody gotta be a rat. Somebody gotta be an informant. You know. So, you so, so you think Gene Deal? So you think Gene Deal talks to the same? Man, Gene Deal just set up here and told us two weeks ago that if Cassie, if, if Cassie go to trial, he'll testify with her in her defense. Come on, man. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then you Absolutely. got Ridge right, Ridge right doing what he doing. Yeah. These people watching. Yeah, they watching everybody. They they watching everybody doing what they doing, saying what they saying, and they playing out for it. I think. Kevin Felder said, public, Kevin Felder said, "How is public opinion pressure?" Cassie told us he kicked her face sideways. God damn. I mean, I, I, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, he settled it out of court and it made him weak. Now. For him to settle that out of court, it was definitely video or audio evidence of what the fuck happened. You know what I mean? It was an admission of guilt. Yeah. Selling out of yeah, court right. is always an admission. Exactly. Of guilt. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not defending nothing that he did. Like I'm just being in defense of the fact that the evidence of what they trying to say and without an arrest warrant, them doing all of it without an arrest warrant, yeah, it's a it speak volumes. So I expect an arrest soon. Right. If it don't come soon, then it gonna make me want. What the hell was that? Right. You know what I mean? So I expect I it soon. If they went in there, took their evidence, and found what they need to find, and seen what they need to see, because I honestly, I think they went in there to verify something. They verified rooms and places and room and things that people were telling them, "Hey, this is happening here, or this happened there." You know what I'm saying? And they went in there and verified different states, bro. And tried to they find evidence. Of boxes, what though, pressure, pressure. They came out with boxes, bro. Uh, I mean, they don't come man. out with boxes all the time, but but like and I say, and they ran. When they come out with that many boxes, and no arrest warrant. What we doing? I mean, you come out with boxes, but bro. <laughs> they ain't got no USB slot, no HDMI slot. The, Alabama, the I ain't never seen it before. And, and, Alabama, I just ain't never seen it before. On, where man. you get raided like that and yeah. don't know a warrant come with it. I just I ain't, ain't never seen it, Alabama. I think the real location, either the real location or uh, 
Detroit Cam said they raided um Kales three years before he got arrested. I but see, say, I can man, I can understand just, your business, your studio, <laughs> but he had three homes to be raided. That's different. Right. Your business get raided versus your home getting raided. That's two different things. Well, shit. Yeah. It's one and the same to me. I ain't gonna lie. Because if you look at it, come on now. Let's keep it a buck. Kells had a spot in them studios where he would freak off at, bro. All right. All right. Well, well, look, even if you, you want to say that it's one and the same, we had him get right. He had three homes on, I guess, Three different coasts of America to get raided at the same time, of that you know what I'm saying. So they hit all three at the same time. Then they caught him in the airport and allowed him to go home by his wife. And then they he then came back your and mic, they still your, your mic muffling up again. Pressure, your mic <laughs> muffling up again, bro. Yeah, and they still ain't got no. They still ain't got no warrant on him. So. It's, it do look funny though. I, 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 I honestly, that's the reason why I'm already defending certain shit. So, cause we gotta be honest about something. That do look funny. Like all that ever did, all that, all that show of all that show of force, and y'all ain't got shit. Y'all looking stupid. Not really. Not really. You know, we 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 look at this shit like. Um, this is drugs or guns and shit. If they'd have, if they'd have went in there and found a bunch of ARs and pistol grip pumps and and Glocks with buttons on the back of them, yeah, niggas would have niggas would have um took their ass to jail. But they came in and got electronics, appliances, um, paperwork. I think that was yeah, late. You got you got. I think that was that shit pressure. I, I think they were late. I'm gonna be, Alabama, I think they were late, and I do think they use certain things as a distraction. Certain shit here they use what as a distraction. DJ, what it do? What's up, Kings? Well, y'all up late tonight, ain't it, man? Yeah, man. Burning mm. at midnight all, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, I wish somebody would hit that like button for me. Hey, if you're oh, yeah. enjoying the content, support the channel. If you're enjoying the content, hey, consider becoming a member of the Hit Squad. Hey, I ain't monetized, so I ain't no memberships. But these are the day ones in the chat. You know, the Russell Douglases and the Real As It Gets, and Kevin Felders, and Real Location, Detroit Cam, New To You, Maddie Stone. The list go on and on. Killer Kyron. Y'all know what it is, man. S subscribe to the channel. Support the channel, man. Yeah. DJ, what's what's up, man? Man? Hey, man, I know y'all probably ain't been checking it out. I've been following up on the Pimp C deal. I did not know that man died broke, man. They did him. Ooh, we Y'all need to go check it out, though. Man, they got into deep talks about how they ripped that man apart, man. You know what I'm saying? And it, say his wife, yep. We'll, 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 we'll chop it up on it. We'll chop it up on yeah. it. We're in a we in a, a a deep conversation about that whole situation with homeland security and, and, and oh and Diddy. man yes sir oh, it, he it, is it, it could be a distraction man yeah, but i know it is yeah it is because uh i'm telling y'all once this p did it that down well i just said if in the, if in heat up real heaven that but uh yeah p did it i don't it is it, man if he make it out of this one right here, which we know he ain't, they when he make it out of one situation, they're gonna come with another one. It's like I ain't I mean, he did it, he threw. He 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 worse than our killer right now. He 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 a done deal. Not not a, not according to Big Pressure. Big Pressure said they went in this house and ransacked that bitch and came out with a bunch of teddy bears and yet now. Um, <laughs> They got to process that shit. Let them, let them do their homework, man. Let them do their due diligence. They're going to come out with, I'm telling you, 
They don't everything with some shit. Man, they ain't got a arrest warrant yet. Oh my god. I'm telling DJ, DJ, honestly, see, since you just hit the panel, DJ, I want to ask you a question. Have you right ever on. known a case? Have you ever seen a situation where other than well, I ain't, I ain't even gonna, I'm just gonna answer you the question like it's straight up. Have you ever seen a situation where a black man got his house is raided, but didn't have an arrest warrant attached to it? I ain't gonna lie, man. This is it's a first time for everything, and that's what's got everybody eyebrows up too. Cause like, damn, y'all. Then the FBI don't never come unless they're hundred percent sure. So I feel you on that one. But it's like, man, the way this shit kind of triggered to me, man, is that they don't tell us everything. So we sitting here thinking like nothing going on. But I think they didn't know is what's going on. But we sitting looking at it like, damn, what, what are y'all lying to us or, or P didn't know what's going on. So I feel what you're saying though. I ain't never seen a rave come up empty. I ain't never seen one of them yet. You know what I'm saying? Never in, in American history, the feds come in your and then they say surveillance then came in there. So how out of here y'all ain't got nothing? You know what I'm saying? That's that's the catch. You know because what I'm saying? We're dealing in, because we're dealing in electronics and you got to take this shit and go through it with a fine tooth comb and put pieces together. They don't know what the hell going on. All they got, they got people that have given statements. And they need to go. They had to go and get the evidence to corroborate the statements. Once they put that shit together, they'll be back. Planning something. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't know that. Uh, I, I, well, like I say, for the feds to come, they got a hundred percent. Like Kevin Gates said that, which I've been knowing, but he said when the feds come, they are ninety five percent correct. On when they come in there, they ain't gonna miss. They ain't never miss yet. And I don't know if y'all know. I know y'all know about the ninety five. It's a goddamn ace. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And I ain't never seen. I ain't never seen no motherfucker not make the honor roll on, on, on with ninety five in every class. So if this a failure, you come, early with, you come out too early with an arrest warrant. You risk blowing your load. Keep there you go. They came out with the exact. They came out with exactly what they were looking for. Exactly. That's what I'm bro, that's what I'm telling you. Music 101 said they don't have an arrest warrant because they have no proof. They have just statements from the victims. They said they raided early because it was told kids was involved, so they moved without proof. So now they they collect they collected information and we're gonna take it from there. So if they if they come out with something. Hey man, I told you so. If they don't, I'll be right here on his squad TV giving an apology. But I don't think that's gonna happen. I know one thing though, here somebody inside the FBI was a snake for P. Diddy, because that's what I believe they're trying to figure out who gave him the ups for to get some of the shit out the way. Cause you know how they say you no. Know, no, nah. this guy that yeah, I'm listening. DJ, DJ, the minute Cassie he paid Cassie, he knew what was coming with it. Yep. <laughs> he knew what was coming with it. Like them settlements, that's it say one thing that okay, I admit to this shit, but it says something else to people who wanna put you in some shit. You know what I'm saying? So the minute you, you make a payout or settle out of court on some shit like that. It was bringing all the floodgate open up on him. He, yeah, and, and see, you see how you can't even if he wouldn't have paid out the floodgate, still would have opened up on him. Yeah. But even when you pay out, that floodgate gonna open up. But see, I'm gonna ask y'all this question because, like I say, you know, I know the law real tricky. There's a loophole through it. If if I pay you off, can that person still testify against me? It, it depends on different situation because it's a case by case basis. You can pay okay. them off on one case, and they can you they can be a witness on another case. Okay, that's what, and that's what finna, that's what's gonna go on. That's why I was asking. Like, I was just making sure I ain't want to sound like a dumbass. So it's like you know, a person can renege on the plate. That's basically what I was getting at. You know, they, they can renege on the plate and still fuck it. What you, what you gotta realize is, um, she didn't sign no NDA. 
She can talk. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Say no more. We Say no seen, more. We've seen paperwork and everything, bro. So, yeah, she free to do what she want to do. He settled outside of court. Nothing mm-hmm. that they did was in court. So, yeah. She's going to play. She's going to play him. Out of safe, when people find out it's safe to come outside and play, <laughs> yeah. What he what he said on that flavor in the in your ear remix. Bad boy. Yep. <laughs> they coming out. They coming outside, man. I'm telling yeah. you. Y'all just sit back, grab your popcorn. Cause a lot of people like the, the social media and the workplaces, everybody saying the same thing. Like this is gonna be a process, but they is not gonna stop. Cause they didn't came too far, and if y'all know how to feel, is they they ain't gonna they gonna come with every combination and like the cut sit in box and the combination is the deal. They come with a combination of the combination because uh they they want they want did it now. I see uh, come mm-hmm. to my like they want him bad. You know what I'm saying? And they gonna go through every limb they can do. Well, it's blood in the world. And then and then the question is, uh, what they looking for? Like I say, he attached to. He attached the Keefe D situation. And then he attached the Cassie situation, which opened up a whole lot of other situations now that's coming unfold. You see what I'm saying? So he attached to so much stuff that it's going to be really hard for him to dodge everything. I'm going to ask you this question, though. With them being into it real heavy, some like real heavy, but they was into it like, you know, everybody know it wasn't no secret about it. I wonder if Shug Knight gonna be a hidden a hidden defendant on some shit that he know on Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Since they playing because they playing hardball now. I don't think they got nothing to do with no Shug Knight, no Tupac, no um this has got everything to do with trafficking. Boy, like thirty years that went by since Big and Pop got up out of here. Yeah. This ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm I'm well, well, telling well, y'all. No, no, I'm, what I'm saying, I ain't, I ain't talking about the Tupac case. I'm saying what if he knows something that he knows because all these guys, they they in the same circle, just in different environments. You know what I'm saying? But what if Shug Knight knows some shit that can lead them to what they really, a person that really told him what, get him a, a lip on something. You know what I'm saying? Because if they're going to play it, they're going to shake every tree and every bush to get what they want to. All I know is Cassie got everybody talking. When he settled their case, they opened up the flood gate. Yeah, True that. Everybody come out yeah. for her. And, um, yeah. Right. And, Jane, and, Jane and, is and, ass dry. Real as it gets, pay attention. This warrant came from Manhattan where they win 98% of the time. Okay, there you go. Yeah. So, we're going to see. We're going to see. But um, Manhattan, Manhattan ain't no joke either. That's, um, that's, that's, yeah, that's a different but, force. Shook, shook not, not. Suge Knight not finna say nothing, bro. Suge Knight is he he trying to do his time and, and move around. He don't True that. to do with that. I feel you on that. And it ain't and ain't nothing that he gonna say gonna benefit him. You know. So he gonna keep his mouth closed. Yeah. Gene Deal is getting paid now, but Puff gonna get his mouth shut. Puff got a lot of blood on his hands. The most dangerous thing is a punk with money. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Hell no. Hey, yeah. I know that. Yeah. Punk of money. And that's, and, that, and that's why it's so much um, chaos and, and destruction behind him because he Look always it. been a punk and that money just amplified it and he's just started moving people around. You know, when you're a punk and you, you really ain't never had no power in your life, no physical power, no, you know what I'm saying? You become a manipulator quite easily. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, you know that you ain't got no friends because you're a punk. And you know that the people around you are around you for ulterior motives. So you have no love. You have no love for the people in your own circle. Yeah, it's crazy, man. The fed tapes that's key to the Hollywood's exposure and fall. And could be Hollywood, but I think they more worried about <clears throat> this is my opinion. 
they worried about these minors. Like, um, really, as a gift set of <clears throat> underage John J- Jane Doe. Uh, and they worried about um, Justin and Christian bringing them teenagers in there. Yeah, bringing them teenagers in there. Oh, a lot of risque shit going on. Yeah. Yeah. This gonna be a. Uh... I mean, that's, that's why. That's why them boy had HSI on their back. And they would have had ATF or FBI on their back if, you know, what I'm saying they were coming into the town <clears throat> right then. Now they gotta find evidence, fam. <clears throat> and when they find it, hate to be redundant, but that's what it is. Like you said too, they they ain't playing about they ain't playing about these kids no more. You know, you play with these kids and the underage minors and sex trafficking. He, it's just like the the list goes on on what they don't play about because half the people that work for the FBI they got kids around it or they've been victims or no victims. You know what I'm saying? So they they're gonna prosecute you to the fullest. Hey, I I, I, I I agree. They probably gonna find. They don't play when it's melanated people messing with kids. There you go. Before before there was a a Diddy scandal, that was Pizzagate. Let's not ever forget Pizzagate. Mm -hmm. Feel me? (laughs) Let's not ever forget Jeffrey Epstein and Epstein Island. (laughs) Or or Ghislaine Maxwell. Let's never forget them people. You know what I'm Harvey so. Weinstein. Let's never forget them people. Yeah. What they say? When you're skin 30, they're going to try to get you. They're going to try to get you. When you're skin 30, which is us, they're going to try to get you for the 30 plus. Absolutely. But, because you but they, don't, they don't get everybody, though. Yeah. They, they don't never they, get everybody on them cases. Like them cases, I guess I guess they have a heart or something, and they feel like somebody was forced to 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 do what they were doing. They don't get everybody. They don't get the handlers and the people who 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 sit back and watch this shit happen. The that's ones what, behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. No, they gonna get the CEO. They always gonna yeah. get the CEO. There you go. Always. Yeah. You know what I'm saying the fall the fall that's, guy. That's just it. So, they so they make you wonder. That they, they make you wonder how much, like, because if people, if you got people around you to do anything for money, if you paying them to do whatever, they, 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 they getting paid to, to watch you do whatever for money, or you know what I'm saying, allow you to do whatever. If you got a person around you, like them people, to do whatever for money. On the other side of it too, they'll say, yeah, he was doing it, but as long as I ain't got to go to jail for it, you see what I'm saying. So them they can't be trusted either. You you can't be even trusted. You can't trust them people. Let's not be mistaken. That that's that's all that was ever around. Exactly. You can't. It, the 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 trust factor was never, um, in question. Them it's, that nigga got a bunch of snakes around him. Mm-hmm. You know and and and, and, and they'll do anything for money. And they'll do anything yeah. for the money. Absolutely. Now, the younger you are, the more loyalty you have. I, I, I'll say that much. The sure. younger you are, the more loyalty you got. But them older cats, them bodyguards, and all of them niggas, the Stevie J's and all of them niggas, man, listen, bro. Them niggas is out for money. Boy. Period, point blank. Yeah. Uh, Stevie J know he needs to his ass now for fit us in shake loose something else. You know what I'm saying? He sure needs to his ass now somewhere. And when the funk hits the fan, <laughs> everybody yeah. gonna start talking, bro. Yeah. Just once, yeah. once, once Stevie J in the in the video with them the day when they popped up, <laughs> Stevie <laughs> J was, you know, he was in the video. Yeah. I said, yeah. Yeah. Just wait for the, just wait for the comfort zone. When they feel, oh, like, when they feel like the closest clip, my nigga, even roaches wait till the lights come off. <laughs> I mean, quiet, quiet as hell. And turn them. Yeah, we done all been in the trenches when the when the lights came on and got them at two o'clock in the morning, and, and a little critter start scattering. Yeah, because you. Well, see, the deal about it is, 
Yeah. Well, see, the deal about it is uh, they don't pop out until they feel like it's safe, and when they when they know that he has been deactivated, his powers have been deactivated as far hmm. as his reach. That's over with. Well, 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 Alabama, Alabama. I'm gonna tell you, you changed my mind on something tonight, though. What's that? And I'm gonna and I'm gonna tell you what you changed my mind on. I feel what like that? that if an arrest warrant come for Diddy, he won't beat it. No, he won't. <laughs> he will not beat it. Mm -hmm. I see. That's what they're doing. They're taking it. They coming at him. What they doing now? They blocking off all his strategy that he gonna have. It's like the old saying: He running the race, and once you get to the end of the race, the race is over. Then, right? So either you gonna get a good award, you gonna come in first place or last place. And we know P Diddy ain't coming in no first place. You know what I'm saying? So he running the race right now. And when he he, he got to get tired, cause there's something that Tamara said to me, which I already knew, but. I needed some confirmation on it because well, I heard it from at first. When Tamara said a while back that the feds do not run out of money, I'm through talking. You know what I'm saying? That's the end, That meaning that they can play all day, every day, repeat. They can repeat it hmm. for as long as you want. You're going to run out of money before they do. But I, when I heard Tamara say that, I said, God damn, that, that's, that's the answer there. So they're going to play this game and tell the motherfucker they playing against run out of money. That's how they do it. That's how they always win. Right. And they, um, they ain't got no problem with that. You know, they, 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 they using drug money and, 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 and it's with, with, uh, Ponzi scheme money. They, they, bro, they, they, they the federal government. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't worried about that. You don't want recycle to money. Uh, a little pocket change, you know what I'm saying? They, yeah. But yeah, they finna drain him. Like real as kids say, he it, it came out of the day that he he owe uh, over a hundred million to the banks. So that I heard a Tamar talking about that. A Tamar talking about her, her, her deal earlier said it's over a hundred million. I'm like, God damn! And, and see, and see, the, and that's a, that's that, that's the reason for him to keep you alive too. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they they may not never recoup all of that. If they kill you, <laughs> so they may keep him alive because of that too. Long That's a lot of money out there. If he got somebody on camera indulging in something that they shouldn't be indulged in, that ain't all no with. amount of money to go keep you. Jeffrey Epstein had a goo gob of money. You hear me? Jeffrey Epstein, okay. they turned the lights off in the jail. That's what I'm saying. Turn his lights off, and when the lights came back on, his lights were still off. Nobody <laughs> knows what happened. <laughs> that's the type. But, that's but, the type of air that. That's the type of air that did is circulating in right now. <laughs> it's dangerous. It's more dangerous for him than than these little kids that they're trying to protect. People got secrets out here. Yeah, and they know, and he know a lot of damn secrets. But but I I, I do I I do think now you you right about the Epstein case, but I think Diddy is, is a lot more po polarized and 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 looked at that. You know, like I said, it's the court of public opinion. You know what I'm saying? So. I think Epstein didn't really he he was on the rich side of things. Did it been in Do you know why you say that? I'm gonna tell you why you say that. It's because Diddy is a pop culture icon. You can't publicize what Epstein had going on because he had people Thanks. like Tom Hanks. Ellen DeGeneres, Donald Trump. Shall I go on? You know, and, 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 and see, this is the thing about it. Diddy can still make them some money. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Well, I think they, they I think they that Diddy either I'm gonna put it this way. If Diddy can't make the money, then it's over either way. But that hundred and forty million dollars out there on him, yeah. 
Nobody get nothing if he ain't got that money. I'm going to speak to the contrary. Because if Diddy could still make them some money, why is he out here um, pimping? Yeah. I mean, you got to... You got to understand, see, he was, look, the, the industry is built up in different layers. Diddy was uh, just, uh, he, he he really was, he really was a do anything for a dollar type of nigga. <laughs> Man, come on, bro. That's the type of nigga Diddy was, do anything for a dollar. Yeah, he'll promote anything now. That's one. But I'm gonna say this: uh, my uh, mama brought this to my attention when we were sitting there watching it. You know, just watching the uh, CNN and everything. She said nobody's paying attention to what they really publicize, and they publicizing homosexuality right in our face and showing you that this is how you get advanced in America. But at the same time, we're gonna advance you when you on your way up. We gonna homicide or not homicide we're gonna uh, homosexualize you on your way up and then we're gonna expose you on your way down you know what i'm saying and i'm like wow and that's just really what we're seeing right now everybody looking at what he's doing but not what they really publicize you know what i'm saying and that's the sad part about what's going on in america that they the hollywood life they let you know it's it's legal until we make it illegal you know what i'm saying You know what I'm saying? So it's that that's really like when you're looking at this, it's like what they trying to everything dealing with what? Sex. You know what I'm saying? Same sex. You know, molestation, sex. Everything that dealing with P. Diddy right now is sex, but everybody know in Hollywood, these people, in order for you to get to the top, like the uh, Rihanna's, they call them sex slaves. I don't know what I'm talking about. And this is the same thing finna go on with Glorilla. They finna send her to the snoops, the fitness and everything. And they like sex slaves. These young ladies that want to make it to the top, they got to go mess with all these gatekeepers to get to the top. You know what Man, I'm saying? Don't, 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 don't get it twisted now. It, it's a part of that of people who want to do what they do. And then they want to come back 20 years later, 15 years later, 10 years later and say something happened. See what I'm saying? I'm getting, See, this is the reason part. why... It's a little bit dicey right there because people be wanting to do this. They know what it come with. At that time, 15, 20, 30 years ago, they thought they was the shit and this was the way they could get on and they made yeah. choices. All right? You now, you cannot use them same choices against them people 15 years later because you made a bad choice. I'm just saying that's the type of stuff that be going on and I, I think that's the type of stuff everybody need to know about. True that. Right. Right, and that's you know, you're right, but um, yeah, this is crazy, man, absolutely crazy. Yeah, but uh, anything yeah. under age, anything is under age, and if they can prove any of that shit, dog, did it like really and truly, really and truly, honestly, I I, I think did it was doing some like I told y'all, did it was a wild boy, you know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> I do think he was a wild boy. <laughs> But other than that, man, I don't know what he was doing with people that was of age. Them niggas had their own damn mind, I think. <laughs> well, well, the, thing is, the thing is, it, it don't really matter what he was doing with people of age. When you bring them kids into it, when you're going live with, with little Italian white women, it's over with. It's over with. Yeah, that, that was that was a stupid that was a stupid move. Talking about, and, and she said it out her mouth that he took her off the streets and brought her in, and, and that was a stupid was, move. And, and showed her a good time, and showed her a good time. You know what I'm saying? And then at the same time, you never know. They they probably set them up the whole time, put her put her in place because okay, this this is our clickbait right here. Put him right in the place, and, and he fell for it. And that's what I feel. You know what I'm saying? They sent that girl his way, put her in position to get him. Cause, you know, everybody put in position to get, you know what I'm saying, get somebody like P. Diddy, you know. They send these little kids and everything out there that they know that, you know what I'm saying, that know how to cooperate with the situation. And here it is. P. Diddy just, he fell for the bait. And that's how they got him. 
Cause nah, they, they not- I, I think P did it. I think P did it. Grown ass man, he know what he was doing too. So whatever oh, yeah. they got on him, it it's is what it is. I just yeah. say if they bring an arrest warrant, P did it probably done. Oh, yeah. right, but see, what Fifty Cent said it when it first popped off. He said, "Do them people do not round up like that for nothing? To they, they don't round up like that for the lose, but like that. So if they come like that, they ain't losing. And then you know how it is. And I mean, y'all know because y'all know how it goes when they when they make their move, they can't waste money. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a failed attempt, and I don't think this attempt is a failure." Right. I think what yeah. what they did get, what the they didn't get. We're at the two hour and forty five minute mark, man. We're finna shut it down, fam. Already. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah. One thirty seven in the morning. We finna let them have it. Hey, if y'all in here, I hope y'all hit the like button. If y'all enjoyed the content, I hope that someone would support the channel. We're putting everything right back into it to give y'all the best experience possible. You feel me? Shout out to Big Pressure. Shout out to DJ. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Really, as a kiss, I really appreciate you. And I seen that about Easter. That shit is sickening. Um, you know, it's an agenda being pushed, and we we know it. You know what I'm saying? We just got to stay prayed up and stay on our P's and Q's. But you know what I'm saying? Kevin Felder said, hold on, before I go, let's just address the elephant in the room. Did he simply just got his wake up call absolutely absolutely but hey salute to everybody that tapped in with us tonight you know what I'm saying from kevin felder the detroit cam the black barbie as real as it gets the real location killer Kyron, k2 dj sip you know what i'm saying everybody that came through and rock with us maddie stone divine black rose i appreciate each and every one of y'all man you know what I'm saying? Salute to the hitters. Salute to my dog, uh, Deposits 205, straight out the city. You know what I'm saying? Russell Douglas. You know, big pressure. Yeah, pressure world always. J. Rail, Antonio H., and so many more. Much love to each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for supporting Hit Squad TV. You know what I'm saying? Hop on board, support the movement. And um, until the next time we decide to spin, I'm in the wind. Y'all hit that like button for your boy on the way out the door. Y'all know what it is. Broadcasting live from Birmingham, Alabama. And we about this thing.